Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This should be fun. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is DSP News, the unreliable ones. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the newsroom and welcome to the Gautopia News Network, your unreliable source for DSP News. This is a Snort Report brought to you by Snort Bus Coffee Company, the best beverage company. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, I guess a small segment of Chewing the Fat with GTG and then we'll just move on to the situation at hand. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there'll be four videos that will make up our broadcast. With that being said, that means we are at the end of February, which is great, but at the same time, a, a, a tad bit disappointing, I guess, because yet again, we're at the end of this and so on and so forth, but that is a thing. Um, with that being said, uh, this should come out on Monday, February 22nd, I believe. So, with that being said, so if you guys are watching this, hi Monday, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's on Monday. Um, there should be one more video from me that I've already recorded at this point that should come up later on, and that'll be a wrap. I won't see you guys again until like, basically first week of, well no, it might be, no, yeah, it'd be like the first week of March, essentially. Um, unless something comes up that, you know, I've been notified that might be worthwhile doing or whatever the case may be. I'll see you guys then. But there should be one video that should come out uh, over that span of time. Um, if I can squeeze another video in for that following week, then I will. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I kind of really just want to go ahead and get to my, my vacation as it is and so on and so forth. But if something comes up, uh, I will do what I can and we'll just try to cover it in, a, in, in, a, in its entirety at a later time and date. I will try to do that from now on, I should say. Um, that's basically it. Once we're caught up with March, um, I had said that, uh, which I think in March we should be caught up all together. Like by the end of March, I think we should be completely and totally caught up. So that should be sweet, hopefully. But, um, with that being said, I said there's some things that I wanted to implement. As you see, there's been some changes, uh, each and every month, give or take. I think we're going to have a music change coming up in March. So that'll be cool and so on and so forth. Probably after March and maybe even after April, we'll probably start taking song recommendations. So that's something you guys can look out for uh, whenever we decide to do that. I know um, I know Raven will definitely have some, some good ones. So I can't wait to go ahead and hear that from them. And uh, let's see, amongst others. Uh, that's basically it. I think I said in the last broadcast that um, uh, when we're all caught up, we will try to do a weekly situation where we try to see what's going on with WWE champions as it pertains to events given the days that coincide with the days uh, with the days we're using for the report and see what's up with that might be interesting we'll see how we play that out um cuz I'm not familiar with the game so I don't know where I would go to post like to find uh, those updates but if I remember correctly they can track you can track a lot of the events as well as players on PC so you don't necessarily need the app uh, on your phone, so maybe I can go through and find it that way, or maybe if I get a chance, well, I don't have a real way to reach out to anybody per se to actually find out about that, but I'm sure the members here at the, in the members of the team here will be able to figure out something, if not, then we'll, we'll try to go another route. Um, I think that's it, guys, you know what I'm saying, as it pertains to that, let's just go ahead and finish off, uh, February, uh, rather strong, and, uh, you know, I'll see you guys for March, basically. And uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully this right here will help you either start your day, end your day, or get through your day in some type of way, shape, or form. I have also, um, I think I mentioned it in a broadcast. If not, I've mentioned it in a video that will eventually come out that uh, by the end of the year, I want to try to do a couple of live reports. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be fun, uh, I think, and <laughs> whatnot. So we'll see. We'll, we'll put some feelers out there and we'll see how, uh, get your temperature, see how you guys think about that. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> Pretty much get kind of clamoring at the bit here to go ahead and get up and out of here. But um, I very much you got I very much appreciate you guys sticking through all this. Everybody here at GTG Network and Productions appreciates it. You know what I'm saying? Very thankful that you spend your time, at least a little bit of your time, I should say, uh, hanging out with us and so on and so forth. And we appreciate all your feedback. All right, guys, let's not hold up any longer. Let's go ahead and get to the situation at hand. I'll see you guys in just a second because I'm so professional. <laughs>
warn everyone, warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's sounds good to me. In 90 minutes, I Let's was hope. doing fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with <clears throat> the first of four videos that will make up our broadcast brought to us by Snow Brunel, DSP. First video, uh, let's see, stupids. <laughs> stupids think I'm a cult leader. Whales and trolls, whales achieve another double vest goal. Wow, like that's just such a great achievement that people need to put up on their walls. Kind of like ACE certifications. I'm sure they have value to somebody. Anyway, this video was <laughs> this video was published on February 26th of 2021. The link will be down in the description. Oh yes, here we go. Fine. And then all of a sudden, as soon as the patch went live and I started playing the new map, everything's laggy as shit. Like, what the hell is this? Of course, everyone on stream told me I was lying. Even though I have concrete proof because Treyarch themselves admitted it publicly and they quick patched it. <laughs> so, you know, idiots who just want to say everything I say is a lie and a complaint, fuck off. Because I was right. I wasn't making shit up. The game actually ran like shit out of nowhere. Sure. Very soon, all right, my wife is going to be making a work schedule adjustment. All right. It's looking like if things go according to plan, we have not got 100% confirmation. We're supposed to find out this coming week, actually. She's going to be swapping. She used to work late, late nights. And now it looks like she may be working mornings. So if this indeed does go through as, as planned and as being promised, then that means that my schedule will likely not change. If it does, maybe it'll be skewed slightly. But likely the streams will be around the same times and around the same length. If, if I have to shift it an hour here or an hour there, I'll let you guys know. Wait, <clears throat> first things first. As it pertains to the situation with Call of Duty, whether it was glitchy, choppy, laggy, whatever. He, when the game is running fine, he still complains bitches and comes up with these almost ridiculous pignosis type excuses on why shit doesn't work well or in his favor. So what does it matter either which way? Like what validation is he trying to go for? You're bad at the game whether it's running well or not. So who gives a shit? At the end of the day, the sun's going to shine on a pig's ass at least twice a day anyway. So who cares? Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily validate your points because you bitch and complain so often and you don't show any measurable uh, line of improvement as it pertains to your gameplay in Call of Duty that it doesn't matter. You're talking into the void just to talk. Oh, well, semantics. As it pertains to apparently the schedule change for Catherine, what does that have to do with fucking anything? At the end of the day, I mean, okay, so she goes to bed early and she gets up early. What does that mean? Like, what does that really mean? Like, I mean, she's still going to be able to make breakfast for you, or you're going to have to get your ass up early to get breakfast, and she'll be home by lunchtime, I guess. And wait a second, what does he mean that he needs that she works super, super late when he gets off stream at, what, 9.30? 10 o'clock maybe at the latest? And he used to rush off stream saying that he had to be home, he had to get off stream because she would be home, like, really, really soon. Now he's saying that she's working super late. Now, granted, anybody who keeps up with the restreamers and anything like that, you know this, she usually doesn't get home until like 11 o'clock anyway, 11.30, their time. By then, Phil's weight has definitely given up, you know, being on stream. The stream's already over. So now what? Is he looking for another reason to avoid her? I don't get it. Like, is this supposed to help you guys spend more time with each other? That doesn't make any sense because this ass clown doesn't get up until like 10 o'clock anyway because the stream doesn't start till what? 10.30, 10.45? So who gives a shit? Like, that doesn't change anything, doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> um, I mean, outside of the fact that maybe she'll be able to spend some time with Jasper before she leaves. And he doesn't have to keep waking his ass up, pissing in his ear, giving him gouty ear infections. Outside of that, this doesn't affect him at all. Like, it doesn't really matter what Catherine's schedule is. He doesn't drive her to work. You know what I'm saying? If you, if, <laughs> if speculation is correct, she has her own car. So, he's useless to her essentially i don't i don't i don't get this and the thing is is the one day that they spend allegedly spend uh spend together they're out running errands so he could take a a second day off he chooses not to just like with panda like he it was when you especially went right before we even found out that there was really any problems uh right around the time she started working he was looking for reasons to kind of not spend time with her and even when she pushed for, hey, we need to spend more time together and work on us, he still half-assed it. So what's the point? 
Like, what's the real benefit to come out of this? Next thing you, he's going to start saying is he's going to stream less. What What's going to happen after that? If you're, if you're willing to stream less, then you might as well go ahead and take an additional day off. Right? I hope he doesn't try to shift this whole situation where, oh, I got to make sure my schedule is completely and totally aligned with her. It doesn't matter. It really don't. If you w weren't willing to go out your way to spend more time with her now, this schedule change doesn't mean jack shit. And it shouldn't be strenuous. She's still the same job, right? We're still doing the exact same thing at the exact same store, right? We're just changing positions? Or we're just moving to our right, moving from one shift to another? Hmm. Ch chances are my stream times probably will not be affected. But things that will be affected. There may be some streams where I allow Jasper to come in here during the daytime. Remember, he used to come in at night when Kat was at work. But now, if she'll be at work during the daytime, I'll let him in during the day to hang out with us. Okay? So we might have daytime streams with Jasper rather than nighttime streams. My day off may change every week, depending on my wife's work schedule. Virgatoto has done a 500-bit cheer, and that is the biggest cheer of the day. It says, as a guru to many frogs and weaves, would you consider yourself spiritual? Of course, as you know. <clears throat> you may not be aware of this, Virgatoto, but as early as 2010... I was accused of being a cult leader. That is correct. DSP cult yeah, leader. Yeah, he is a cult leader, though. And he doesn't believe in anything. He doesn't, he doesn't, like, Phil has no beliefs in anything. At all. Like, that's pretty obvious, to be honest with you. <laughs> Even his, his, uh, even his uh, investment, if you will, in the idea, in the idea of karma is kind of fundamentally flawed in the fact that he doesn't really believe in karma unless it's people who have done something to him and cosmic justice, if you will, is dispersed or, um, yeah, I guess dispersed, if you will, or dispatched onto them. And if anything that he's done that would be considered fucked up and deserve some type of repercussions. Oh, you took it out of context. Oh, it, he always has a reason to try to shield himself, but everybody else needs to get their up and coming. He's just vindictive. That's all he really is. He's just a vindictive little pathetic man, to be honest with you. He, I'm saying a man is actually giving him too much credit, but that's all he is. He doesn't have anything else to him. The guy believes in nothing because he knows nothing. Pure and simple. That's why he reacts to everything instead of sitting there and actually thinking about it. Because thinking is too much. It's easier to just go ahead and spew the negativity that you already naturally have going on in your head. And that's his release, if you will. You could even think of it as mental masturbation in a lot of ways, to be honest. Because he's certainly not getting it physically, so he might as well do it. Which explains, in a lot of ways, honestly, why he reacts the way he does and why he carries himself the way he does. Like I say, he's just an angry little man. No, he doesn't believe in anything. He doesn't believe in jack shit. He doesn't have... What does he have to believe in? He doesn't believe in the people around him. He don't trust them. He doesn't believe in the platform he's on because they've already spited him once. He, he'll he never be anything big on YouTube unless something catastrophic happens and all the big YouTubers get kicked off. And that's a snowball's chance in hell, so that's never going to happen. Everything that he's ever based his fucking life on is based on this online shit. That's it. He has nothing else. What is he What is he in IRL? He's a bum. He's a useless fucking bum and he knows it. That's why he's scared to death to go back. So all he has is internet shit. <clears throat> and to be honest with you, I think being a bum is certainly way more preferable than being a fucking toilet of the internet. And that's what he is. That's all he is. He's just a piece of shit. He's a fucking nugget of the internet. You know what I'm saying? That keeps That people keep trying to flush and he keeps coming back up. That's it. That's all he'll ever be. And he knows it. And he thinks that if this hate train that allegedly follows him around will, if it goes away, then the audience would change against him. But he'll just figure out another way to fuck it all up. At the end of the day, the king of hate needs hate. He needs it. Fundamentally. It's essential. It's like air. If he doesn't have that, what does he have? He has an opinion that doesn't mean jack shit and there'll always be someone that'll be opposed to it. And he can't have that. So he'll just make a detractor out of somebody else. Look at those uh, couple of situations where he ain't flipped out on Twitter, calling people shills and this, that, and a third. It's no different. Look at how he fucking tries the virtue signal on Twitter sometimes every once in a while. It's pathetic. It's pathetic watching that shit. He used to be someone who used to bash people who did stuff like that. Now look at him. 
He's a hop, skip, and jump from being an SJW. Which he used to shit on those people too. Even though he has some of the tendencies of an SJW. At least as it pertains to himself. Or to a hot topic he can he can jump on. I can't say that he actually co-ops it, but that he can jump on. Like, at the end of the day, he says that people are shows and sellouts, but he's a show and a sellout. He wants to be a show and a sellout. He's mad because he feels that people are preventing him from doing it, even though he knows damn well that he fucked up all those opportunities for himself. You wanted to run around and call yourself the most honest dude on the internet and shit. All right, fair enough. And you take everything that comes with it. He's got, he's getting to that age. Well, he's certainly gotten to that age, but he's getting to that age where he's starting to realize, you know what? I said a lot of stupid shit and that shit came back on me and it shouldn't have. Well, he believes it shouldn't have. Your words carry weight, positive or negative. And there's, there are people out there who won't forget. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's say I got a great example, actually. Call of Duty. Because you know I love Call of Duty, right? Um... Uh, Four Two Thunder, right? I like bringing him up as examples. I've been watching him for a very long time. Uh, Four Two Thunder has always been, uh, though he is a big fan of Treyarch, he has been very critical of Activision uh, for a very, very long time. He's taken some very stiff shots at them. Well-deserved, to be honest with you. On top of that, he exposed a lot of hackers uh, during the Black Ops 2 era. A lot of them. Made like he had a video series based off of it for a while. In any case, um, it... Gave him some connections at Treyarch, so to speak, but Activision as a whole didn't like it because he was shining a light on a lot of the negativity that was going on over there, a lot of the two-faced shit that was going on over there, and it was making him look bad. In truth, Thunder should be considered one of the first, and he wasn't the first, but he should be considered one of the first Call of Duty YouTubers that was man enough to call out other YouTubers who were actually just paid content creators essentially um and that shit has come back on him it's come back on him in a pretty harsh sort of way whereas some of his contemporaries who have come up after him have gone on and have their little guaranteed contracts or on activision's payroll or whatever the case may be thunder has never gotten that opportunity but even more than that when they used to do events uh when they used to fly gamers out to uh to test out games and so on and so forth he wasn't involved in that and in truth he was a big enough name where he should have been able to do it he should have been some he's someone who was looked at and respected within the call of duty community who should have been given at least one opportunity to get flown out to activision studios or sorry to fly out to activision and or treyarch sledgehammer or um you know whatever whatever studio that at the time and give some feedback on the game and see how it plays He's, he's very practical, essentially, in what his wants are, right? And he does speak for a larger community. It never happened, though. The reason why is because when he had the platform to do it, he put the players before himself. That right there is something that should be respected and commended. If you're doing this as a job, which he's not. he actually This is just something he does on the side. Um, if you're doing this as a job, that might have uncomfortable repercussions that you may not be able to overcome. Let me explain. <laughs> I cannot prove this. Though there was a lot of innuendo going around, especially back in the day on Reddit and different Call of Duty forums, that someone from Activision had a had a pretty good hard on for for uh, for 402 Thunder um, in the worst possible way. Pretty big hate boner. This person may have been linked to Allier in some way, shape, or form. I'm not accusing Allier of sending this person after Thunder, because that's not what I'm saying. I'm not even, I don't mean to imply that if that's what it sounds like. But this might have been someone who is connected to Allier. And he, this person really just didn't like what Thunder was saying and how he was calling certain shit out. And essentially, they made it their purpose to cut him off uh, at basically all stops as it pertains to going from being just your usual call of duty commentator to actually getting into the actual business aspect of it and building partnerships and so on and so forth if this theory is true and if some of the speculation that's been going around for a number of years is true this person has gone out their way to make sure that other people kind of cut themselves off from him too not other call of duty content creators but people like in pr 
and so on and so forth, right? Like people who would normally reach out to some of these people, give them free copies and stuff like that. They they're there to be like, yeah, he's on that list. He's he's supposedly he's on a blacklist. So that's the reason why he's been cut off from some of those situations, which is a shame. At the same time, though, Thunder has been given other opportunities as it as it comes to Battlefield, as it pertains to uh, Destiny, as it pertains to uh, Fortnite, and so on and so forth. And I'll be honest, he squandered them. He was given opportunities, he was given free copies, he was given chances to do giveaways with other companies or whatever, and he did it for a little while and he gave it up and he went back to Call of Duty because that's all he knows, to be honest. It's it's all he knows. Even for his love of Destiny, uh, the, sh the game, I should say, um, even then, he was still never dedicated to it like he was with Call of Duty. In a lot of ways, he actually came up with reasons to not play those things. So now he's stuck doing what he's doing. Now, at the end of the day, as long as he's happy with it, it is what it is, but the point is, there's a price to be paid for everything. And when other opportunities come through, you should take advantage of them. And even though this isn't his job, right? Um, if you're going to devote this much to Call of Duty and Call of Duty don't give a shit about you and don't love you back, it is what it is, then why would you be scared to not try to commit that same energy to something else? It is what it is. So it came back to bite him. Same thing with DSP. All of that stuff ended up coming back on him. And yet again... Thunder could lay the argument out that, oh, it was early in, you know, my Call of Duty career, if you will. I didn't know this, that, and the third. And that's fair to say, I guess, to an extent, but it doesn't matter. What you knew and what you didn't know is irrelevant, to be honest. This is what the reality is. And if someone really is out there with a vendetta and don't want to let up, then you really can't do anything about that. You can't make that stop. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you chose to walk the way you walked, and you should just go ahead and walk with your head held high. At the end of the day, you're either there's two different types of men in this world: the people who die on their knees, or the people who die standing. End of story. You stood behind something you believed in, and in a lot of ways, at least for 402 Thunder, he gave a voice to people who were really getting fucked over. Because especially back in the Black Ops 2 era, hackers were crazy. You know, and this is like during the game's life cycle. And, like, he was out there naming and shaming him. A lot of those hacker, hackers actually tried to retaliate against Thunder in multiple ways. So, the shit was real. You know what I'm saying? For a while there. And, yes, he had a contact at Treyarch who was, like, he would report to and so on and so forth. But even after a while, that gets annoying. And after a while, Thunder even gave that up because he's like, this isn't what my channel is about. Which is fair. Which is fair. But you were kind of already on the radar for at that point. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, the road to hell is paved in good intentions. So, it is what it is. For But, like I said, that's just my example. For DSP, he talked shit about other people because he felt like he could. And whenever someone had a, anything that was opposed to his opinions, he, they got blocked. You can't, you can't conduct yourself like that at all. At the end of the day, there's always going to be an opposing opinion to what you're doing or what you're saying. You, you take that in strive. But if you're this small, pathetic little person, right, and this is your only chance to be something because you were never anything and anything else, and this is the only place you found popularity or you found your voice or you found that people gave a fuck about you or whatever pathetic little reason that comes in your head, you're going to do you're gonna do whatever you can to preserve it. And that's not just on uh, DSP's side. That's on everybody's side. So just something to consider as you're moving forward. Is an account that used to exist on YouTube and on the internet and what it would do is try to slander me and say that everything I did was because I was a cult leader and I was leading children like the Pied Piper. I was leading children to their doom. I would dance through the streets with a big uh, wood woodwind instrument and I would play my raucous tunes and the children would be attracted much like the Pied Piper leading the rats through the streets in his own uh, his own lore or whatever. But anyway, yes, Vir Vir Virga Toto. I was like the Pied Piper. I would dance through the streets with a woodwind, a giant woodwind flute. And I would go... <laughs> and all the children would follow me through the dregs of the internet down to hell. This is what I did, you know, over 10 years ago. And... <clears throat> and DSP cult leader pointed this out. Said that I was basically having an army of children follow me and erroneously praise me for the content I was putting out. And that was a horrible person corrupting the youth of the world. You know? That's what I was told 11 plus years ago. That's when it started.
I mean evil dirty. Let me put that up there because I think it's fitting. Um, first off, the DSP cult leader channel still exists. And there's actually quite a bit up there. It's it's rather illuminating, to, to say the very least, on whoever that individual was and what they what they called out and what eventually came to pass. There is very there's very few things on that channel that was said that didn't eventually come to pass in the worst possible way. Like his hypocrisy that we call out now on a daily basis because that's what people like myself do. It was extremely apparent back then. And this person took a shitload of hate. Like go back, go over there and look at the likes and dislikes. It gives you an idea of what kind of strength, and I use that term loosely, that Phil had back in those days. It's really, really amazing to see that. The comments are just a void of autism more often than not. But um, it's it's amazing what kind of muscle Phil had back in those days and those people who try to go over there and fight for him. I was shocked, to be honest. I was actually even more shocked, to be honest, to see how many people that are there who still watch the Tractor content to this very day. That right there is actually rather impressive, I think. But um, yeah, like a lot of what was said came to pass. A lot of it. Don't worry, on the second channel, we're going to go over some of that because there's some gems. <laughs> There's some fucking gems over there. Like some, just some yummy, yummy nonsense out of this idiot. And the sh it's really, it's really telling, to be honest. Because when you look at DSP back then, during DSP cult leaders run, and or any old school detractor, or OG detractor, I should say. And you look at him now, it's amazing how many passes he got. It's amazing how much shit he was allowed to get away with. And in truth, that's why canceling him or doing gay ops to try to get him kicked off of platformers or whatever is, it's pointless. It's pointless not because of 100% pig luck. It's funny. It's entertaining. It's fascinating to watch him fuck himself over. It really is. It's absolutely amazing. It's I, I can't describe to you. It's like watching a crash test dummy just just keep finding more unique ways of slamming himself into a wall. I don't understand. And the wall's not going to give. And yet, every day he gets back into that car thinking he's going to go through that wall. And no, you're not. <laughs> you're going to go through that car and you're going to keep hitting that wall. And the, the only thing about that 100% pick luck is that one, he hasn't had any major, he hasn't had a YouTuber yet, you know what I'm saying, really bring some hate his way. He really hasn't. He's been kind of fortunate from that standpoint, to be honest. And even when he got kicked off of platforms, they let his ass back on for whatever reason. And because, to be honest with you, he's willing to suck off anybody he has to to keep what little he has. And he's too scared, too lazy, and too stupid to work harder to get the things that he wants. He's trying to sustain a lifestyle that he can't sustain. As shitty of a lifestyle as it is. It's nothing in particularly special. And trust me, if he was such an innocent man and we're all fucking liars, he wouldn't mind doing a house tour. A house tour that people are willing to pay for. But he still won't do it. Innocent people don't have anything to hide if that was really the case. What all the allegations, I should say, that's going against them. So, what is he? And he's, it, it, I mean, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Head over to the channel itself. Um, if I remember to, I will let the dude know to go ahead and put that in the description. I'll let somebody know, I should say. To put it down in the description for you. And you can go over there and watch it for yourself. Like I said, there's, there's, some, there's some gems over there. And some of that stuff is, thank goodness the channel's still there. Some of that stuff would have been lost to history if, you know, someone didn't preserve it. Which is the whole reason why detractors exist exist in the first place. It's not just laughing at the fucking train wreck, but it's also capturing it and preserving it for those who come later. At the end of the day, Darkseid Phil had been, to be honest, been, been shit on since he started. And there's a reason why for that. And people need to continue to remember that. Because you hear and you see it every once in a while, depending on what circles you run in, where people feel like, you know what, maybe we are too hard on him. Maybe, maybe you know, 
maybe this is a little too much, this, that, and a third. And then next thing you know, something happens, and they're like, I want to give him a chance, but then he did this, so fuck him. That's not being unreasonable. That's just the individual that you're dealing with. And I think a lot of the time, human decency comes in the way, and we forget what you're dealing with. You really are. He's like to take a... Uh, <laughs> to take an example out of Paul W's book, Big Ups to Paul. If he's in quicksand, are you willing to throw yourself out there to save him? Knowing damn well that the moment that your hand touches his hoof, he's going to drag you into that quicksand and then prop himself on top of you to get away. It's what he does. It's like watching a person drown and you try to throw a life preserver at them and they're still kind of like throwing their hands all over the place and shit because they're panicking and you go in there to try to save them, and more than likely, if you're not careful, they'll drown you only to preserve themselves for a few minutes longer until they drown themselves. And that's what Dark Side Phil is. That's what he's always been. All these people didn't pick up and leave him, or betray him, or do any of that bullshit for no reason. There's a reason why he has nobody around him. And the people that he does have around him, let's call a spade a spade. He paid them to. Let's let's be honest. That marriage is a sham. Jasper is collateral damage. And I hate to say that, but that's the case. He's collateral damage. All for what? So this idiot right here can have the illusion, the perception uh, of being successful? Of being normal, essentially? Because that's really what he's going for. He's trying to present himself as a normal person, but he's far from normal. Jesus Christ, most of us who watch him aren't really normal. I mean, shit, it is what it is, but he takes that shit to a whole nother level, to a whole nother stratosphere, to be honest with you. And all he has to, and at the end of the day, how do you benefit? You need a hate mob to profit. He can't do it on his own. Whatever sponsors or whatever free copies he's given behind the scenes, he won't disclose it because he's scared that he might lose them. But then if he doesn't actually present the product, right? Like if he doesn't legally, not legally, if he doesn't publicly present the product and, and present the fact that this was given to him, he's not going to get anywhere with the companies. He has to wait months on end, if not longer, until he gets another, you know, advanced copy or whatever the case may be or an influencer copy or whatever. And the only reason why Twitch deals with him, which is, you can speculate to your heart's content, is because he brings in a, a, a large amount of money, to be honest. That's his only real, that's his only real contribution to the platform. He doesn't do anything else. And if it's true, as it pertains to the rumors, that he doesn't have a partner, or um, he doesn't have a Twitch manager, I should say. If it's true about that, then at the end of the day, it's back to the scenario and or uh, saying that we have here on this channel. You give him enough rope and he'll hang himself. And sooner than later, he'll get himself booted off of there. Twitch Twitch looks at him kind of like how Machinima did. Hey, we're not going to throw you anything anymore. We've given you enough alley-oops to the no-fly zone and this is the last one we throw in. And if you fail, you fail. No big deal. If they can kick off Dr. Disrespect or if they can kick out anybody in the armada of larger Twitch streamers that have been banned for the most minuscule reasons at some times or some points. Eventually they'll get rid of him too. But it's easier just to let him fuck himself over than to sit there and try to go through all those complaints that are on him or to just boot him off for their TOS. To be honest, they don't give a fuck about their TOS anyway. Unless they can fuck them up. So what's the point? But anyway, just to give you guys a little bit of insight on what makes Dark Side Phil, Dark Side Phil. This is what you're looking at. This is what you're dealing with. Like, he is what he is. He doesn't value any of you. He doesn't care about any of you. Detractor or pay pig alike. It is what it is. He, he, it's, it's truly cannibalism in a lot of ways. He'd eat you to save himself. And for what? When he could literally walk down the street to get food. You know what I mean? But you're talking about someone who's, he's never been nothing about anything. And even if he had a word, even if he at one time could command an audience, he somehow figured out a way to fuck it all up for himself. 
That's amazing. You have you have a group of people, right, who call all of these things out about you and use your footage, use use your works of art, if you will, to prove your flaws. And yet you have this other group that over time became diehard fans of you and were willing to defend you tooth and nail, essentially, at all costs, right? And you slowly but surely dwindled that them away, to be honest. You diluted them, I should say, away. And then you made that second group that was hating on you even bigger. And he can't do anything to stop it. And he's tried everything. Excuse me. He tried abusing the YouTube the YouTube copyright system. He tried sending people from Machinima after them. He tried sending his pay pigs after them. And nothing changed. If nothing else, him going through those measures only condemned him. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's fascinating. It really is. It's fascinating to watch someone kill off, allegedly, everything they built. But when you really think about it, they didn't build anything. It just exists. Take that for what you will. In a scammer who steals money from little children. <laughs> and then back then, the difference was... When people made silly conspiracy theories up, everyone laughed. Everyone looked at that guy and pointed and laughed. <laughs> Look at the idiot. Look at that moron over there saying something so stupid. Phil's just a guy who plays games on the internet. And, you know, he's he's an underdog. You know, he's, he's funny. You know, he's just some guy. He doesn't have any money. He doesn't have any, any backing or nothing. He's just a guy playing games having fun. What the hell would someone say something stupid like that for? Everyone laughed and pointed at the moron. <laughs> but today, now people believe it. People, people today are so stupid and gullible and just so dumb. They believe everything. What do you so mean you didn't have money when you were making $60,000 doing what you were doing? And you were collecting money behind the scenes through your PayPal account, but he didn't have any money. He didn't have any backing, but you did have backing. He had people in his fan base send him games and send him money yet again for the cost of those games. He even said in his, one of those early vlogs that the reason why he was able to even get his condo was because of all the support that was coming in. So what is he talking about? Not having any money. Semantics. Semantics. Told everyone I was a fucking Martian, they would believe it because they're that stupid. These idiots, they're following all these conspiracies on the internet about fucking QAnon and 9-11 and all this dumb fuck shit that they believe every single thing said about anyone on the internet because they want to believe insane drama. So anything said about me, you know, they believe it's true now. So, you know, 11 years ago, crazy shit would be said and everyone would laugh and write it off as, a, as an idiot or a joke or, you know, this guy's a fucking moron. Today, it's like everything must be true. Because we're stupid and gullible morons. I just hate to say it. The longer we go on with humanity, the dumber it gets. I don't even know. But what here's the say. irony of it all: the very people he calls stupid and idiot are the very people that he's trying to appeal to, to side with him. But how do you side with someone who's willing to talk down to you like this? And then it's even funnier because he says, he says that the detractors, trolls, haters, and critics lie on him and says that he mistreats his fan base and calls them a cult, and he really don't. You know, that's what he says. But listen to what he's doing. If he's willing to say this about people that he tries to appeal to on a daily basis, then what the hell do you think, or how the hell do you think he actually treats the people who are already there? What sense does that make? But nobody sees the flaw. Well, everybody sees the flaw in that, but him. It's, 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 it's rather breathtaking when you think about it. But people weren't that stupid. So, <laughs> Get Bant said, I heard people say you were a nice guy and very good at video games. You see what I mean? How gullible can you be? How could you possibly believe that? You'd have to be a moron. I'm just overall pretty good at all kinds of different games. You want to know the truth? I'm probably one of the best overall gamers in the country. Who's now, he here's, a, here's actually a great example of, of this man baby and, his, and what was his natural habitat back in those days. Look at all this shit back here. Look at all these arcade sticks. The fuck you need all that for, man? When most of his friends, actually probably the majority of his friends at that time, were all into the FGC in one way, shape, or form anyway. And most of those dudes, and Phil has confirmed this, have their own arcade sticks. So what the fuck you need? Let's see, you see three visible. There's another one right there where his shoulder's at. There's probably five or six there. And then if you go back to, excuse me, DSP Street Fighter, he must have at least another three or four on top of that. 
And then if you go into the Nook, he has at least two more RK sticks in there. So what the fuck do you need all that for? Like, what point were you trying to prove? It was almost like he was trying to show the FGC, I'm more dedicated to this shit than you guys are. I didn't have to get sponsored and get sent free arcade sticks or whatever. I can go out there and buy it on his own, on my own. Okay, good for you. But what's the point of all that, though? Like, what do you need all those arcade sticks for when, in actuality, you can't play a lick anyway? Who gives a shit? Like, the competitive community passed him by, and he did the best that he could to try to profit off of it. Or try to stay, keep up with it, I should say. And then try to profit off of it. And then eventually he gave up on it because they had already kicked him out. Or they already forgot about him. Because there are plenty of posts on SRK that talk about that shit. Hey, whatever Darkseid Phil's doing, let him do it. We're just glad that he's gone. Something like that must hurt. Something like that must hurt if you to hear something like that. Oh well, man the fuck up and keep it moving. But even then, he still tried to find ways to get in there and profit. Or to still try to keep his name alive. That's really what it comes down to. Him trying to keep his name alive. He didn't help build the FGC. He may have been there for a while, but he didn't help build anything. If anything, he was probably a bigger deficit than anything else. Just like on YouTube. Just like on Twitch. He's fortunate enough that there are people willing to tolerate him. But how is it that you've been doing this shit for this many years and you don't have nothing to show for it? That's like working the same job for 20 years and never getting promoted. Arcade games like this where you have to keep tossing quarters and they're kind of modern gacha games? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I would say no. Not modern gacha games because modern gacha games is gambling. This isn't gambling. This is actually a good skill, you know. Very different. He probably thinks that way too about WWE Champions. Well, WWE Champions, uh, Dragon Ball, Gokan Battles, WWE Card Game, he probably looks at those things as way more fair and whatnot. And so he doesn't mind throwing money at it. Which is kind of crazy that you play games all fucking day and you fail at almost all of them. And the only satisfaction you get is in a pay to win game. And you're still not the top dude up there, despite all of the money that you've thrown at it. Because there are other people who have thrown equal amounts of money at it, so he feels comfortable with it. It's like... It's like, instead of being man enough, or woman enough, to face your addiction, you're like, well, why are you guys coming down on me when there are other people that are addicts too? So it's almost like he's, he's grouping himself up with them so he doesn't take the individual blame, but yet he still feels like he's above it because he's a bit more conscious of what he's doing. If that makes sense. I'm sure if you're very good at this, you can probably beat on the first try. You don't have to spend anything. Pussy Parker cheer. His gotcha isn't gambling. Gambling, you can win money. And gotcha, you get waifus or four-star Roman Reigns. So there you go. This is obviously someone who's trying to troll me. Um, No. See, in gotcha, it is gambling. Because it's risk with no guaranteed reward. You're paying endless amounts of money. Microtransactions. In order to hope you get something there in the game. It's not like, oh, uh a guaranteed transaction, spend money, get what you want. Instead, it's, it's literally, that's the definition of gambling. Gambling doesn't have to be for monetary value. It has to be for some kind of a good, whether it's a physical or digital good, doesn't actually matter. It's still gambling. And I play a game called WWE Champions, which of all things, you can believe it, is a WWE game that plays like Candy Crush. Fat, man, fat Man's sweaty orifice to me saying I'm a Karen. And then Jello one she uh, she, uh, tipped me and says, "What's the tip score for blowing bubbles, and spraying water in my own face?" So I'm not gonna address any of that. I'm just gonna say thanks for the tips because it's some stupid, stupid shit right there. I'm just gonna continue on. What's funny is these are all verified tips, so someone's actually paying legit money that I'm keeping to say stupid shit like that. Okay, genius. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, you're, it's your money. <laughs> or be it for me to tell you what to do with your money. I need that money to pay my bill. WWE Champions bills. I received another verified tip. Now just listen to this. This guy basically has been saying stupid things the whole time. Alright? And he just tipped me $42. And he says, it's verified tip. It's real. He says, well, I'm rich. I enjoy watching you act like a clown. Please never go away. <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess. I don't even know what else to say. Yeah, okay.
Well, that's the biggest tip of the day. So there you go. And, uh, that gets us to $100 in tips. It's verified. Even though the and guy's... the funny part. This person is shitting on him. Plainly. Plain as day. This person is shitting on him. And he's going to sit here and just take it. Because if the dude charges it back, verified or not, if the dude charges it back, he's fucked. Imagine if you could go back 10 years and say, hey, you know what, Dark Side Phil? You're going to be a failure in like three years. And then you're going to be begging for, well, not even three years. Like, as soon as he started doing YouTube as a job and he was able to monetize his gaming videos, he was basically begging for views. Um, okay, so as soon as you basically start doing this for a living, you're going to have to beg for views. And then after that, you're going to have to beg for even more money. And then you're going to go on stream and beg for money live and people are going to ridicule you and make fun of you. And you're going to sit there and take it like a bitch because, well, you're a bitch because you don't have anything else. If Phil, if you had told that shit to Phil a decade ago, he'd have laughed at you. He'd have laughed at you and he'd have his little fucking fan base basically try to run you off, if not worse. Um, and I'll, I'll get to that at a later time and date. And that had been the end of you. And now look at him. Look at what he's been reduced to. He didn't talk shit about the first guy who threw a couple bucks and laughed at him, essentially. But this guy right here threw some real money at him, if you want to call that real money, if you will. And now look. He just sat, he basically just on his knees with his mouth open and just taking it. Jesus Christ. That's a, that's a sad little existence. And people have the nerve to say that he's successful. <laughs> Is this worth 100000 a year, ladies and gentlemen? Are you willing to let another man or woman piss in your mouth day in, day out, day in, day out, sorry, for a fucking hundred thousand a year? Publicly? It's not going nowhere. You're willing to let that happen? All right. You're trying to insult me. It's a verified tip, so it's real. I mean, he'd be really, 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 really dumb to try to scam and try to, like, charge that back because that would mean that not only would he get his PayPal account closed, but they could come after him financially, too. He'd get all his accounts that's linked to his PayPal closed as well. So, and he uh, <laughs> couldn't retaliate with anything except for, oh, hopefully you don't charge it back because you could have all, shut the fuck up. Stop. That's pathetic. That's even, that's even more pathetic. Because he was better off just letting the guy piss in his mouth and just walk with it. He's good at doing that, so it is what it is. But then he has to, it's not even a threat. It's him just being like, well, hopefully you don't charge it back because you could get real trouble if you do so. Knowing damn well this shit's going to get charged back anyway. So who gives a shit? And he talked about fake credit cards. This, what proof does he have that any of those credit cards were actually stolen? Jesus Christ! People could have easily have just taken a. Uh, How'd they do it against this one guy? I don't want to put the guy's name out there, because this was a while ago and shit, and he was really butt hurt when it happened. And I get it, so it is what it is. Someone, <laughs> okay, someone basically used like a Visa gift card, which you know you 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 can use a gift, Visa gift card, basically like a credit card. They essentially were doing that to basically to do troll tips on Twitch. And they got away with it for a long time too. Like they got away with it for a long ass time. You have, he has no proof that any of those credit cards are stolen. All this shit could be just disposable, like you know what I'm saying, or refillable credit cards, if you will, or debit cards or whatever they call it, or gift cards, I should say. It, it, those would work in the exact same fashion. I don't know if they still did it, but I remember Twitch was talking about it for a while because I think Phil talked about it, that you could actually use gift cards, like uh, like random like gift cards, like Subway gift cards or Jimmy John's or whatever. You could use gift cards to actually give Twitch, um, to give Twitch streamers money through your through that gift card. I don't know if they actually did it or if that's even a thing, but I know they were talking about it for a while though. That was a couple years ago. But um, if that was the case, and that's just something they don't talk about because it's not like Twitch discloses everything, who's to say people aren't running shit like that? It is what it is. I don't know. <laughs> this is just a, a pathetic veil of snorts and whatnot in retaliation. It doesn't mean anything. You're not holding your pride up anymore. If that dude doesn't give you that 40 something dollars, that 30 something dollars or whatever, apparently Jasper ain't going to eat. So yet again, where's the success from? Exactly. I'm not getting it. I'm not seeing it, certainly. So hopefully it's real. All right. Um, but so, I thought you said it was a verified. I thought you said it was a verified, uh, a verified tip from a verified account. Now we're hoping it's real. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. 
this time. This vest is now a symbol of all of us who never give up, who basically say no matter what gets thrown against us in life, we're going to persevere through it. We're going to say fuck you to the haters. It's super positive. You know, and I love it. All right, yes, ladies and gentlemen. I just received a $100.30 tip from Joyful Oblivion. They're back. They were here yesterday, and they just did another very generous tip. And that's verified, so thank you, Joyful Oblivion. And yes, as silly as, that, as it is, that means it's a double vest day again, two days in a row. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't have seen that. I wouldn't have seen that, so guess what? We gotta do a second poll to determine the second vest. <laughs> red? People voted they want red. So, gonna be, so yesterday was a camo and beige day. Today is a platinum and red day. Oh my god. Alright. Let me go get it. It's pretty ridiculous. Ugh. I don't know how this is gonna work because these are puffier, heavier vests. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to now hold keep them in mind, place. This tard right here that you're seeing on your screen currently is the same guy who shits on Dr. Disrespect, Ninja, Markiplier, PewDiePie, all these guys, right? He shits on them and says he does they do things to bring in children or whatever, they have these uh, these pathetic false personas and shit to make themselves seem like more than what they are. What the fuck do you call this retardation up here? What the fuck do you call that? This is the same man who says, I'm never gonna sell out to the big companies, I'm never gonna be a shill, I have too much self-respect. What's this? What the fuck is this? Was this worth $200, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> Alright. I'm a mature adult. And I'm not a children's entertainer. Okay, kill one. Kill two. The fourth one. Oh my god! There's a fifth one. There's five piranha plants. There's five fucking piranha plants. Five. In one area, there's five fucking piranha plants. This is insanity. Five. In one little area. What the fuck? These people are evil. This is an evil fucking game. This is harder than the original. No, seriously. Here's the this here's the, the interesting part of all this. Actually, here, let me make this larger for you. Is I guess it's better to see his failure if it's more visible. If you're not watching this though, don't worry about it. It's a failure's failure no matter what the median is. Um it, what was interesting about that first exchange, right? Is you can literally you could literally see the physical manifest manifestation of him essentially giving up and forming his reasons while he was playing. Like, it was crazy. Like, when he was fighting off those first two or three bad guys, okay, one, okay, two. But once the numbers started to build up against him, you literally saw him go flat. You literally saw all the life basically drain out of his ass. And he was just, he was digging for reasons and excuses on why the failure was going to be inevitable. That's incredible. That is really, really incredible to look at. Here, just so I could prove my point, um, for the sake of argument, let's go back and, and, and watch it. And, and maybe you'll see where I'm talking about. But you can see him falter. And it was impressive. <laughs> it was impressive to literally watch a man give up mid game not even like you know in mid motion if you will it's insane here let's see if you guys see what i'm seeing all right i'm a mature adult and i'm not a children's entertainer okay kill one kill two Fourth one. Oh my god! There's a fifth one! 
There's five piranha plants. There's like, five. You literally saw the confidence drain out of him. You literally saw the confidence drain out. It was as if he was, I mean, don't get me wrong. They were kind of coming at him at all sides. You know what I'm saying? So to speak. But he couldn't even keep his head about himself. And he just succumbed into the failure. And that's what failure is, ladies and gentlemen. It's an abyss. And it's very, very easy. And it's very, very comfortable to slide in it. It's like a warm bath, essentially. And Phil is very, very accustomed to it. Not to taking baths, of course. But failure. That's insane. That's insane watching somebody crumble like that. And you see that too, uh, to be honest with you, in, um, on Friday nights. With someone that he clearly knows he can't beat, it's the same concept. Yeah, it looks like he's still fighting, but he's already succumbed to it. He's already given up. That's incredible. <laughs> that right there is really incredible to watch. Fucking piranha plants. Five. In one area, there's five fucking piranha plants. This is insanity. Five? In one little area. What the fuck? These people are evil. This is an evil fucking game. This is harder than the original. No, seriously. This is harder than the original game. I'm not a whiny baby. I'm a mature adult with a business degree. The problem is with a game like this, after a while, like, I'm getting mind numbed out. Like, my mind is, like, numbed now, and I don't really care anymore. See, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been angry. Now, don't get me wrong. These games were designed to be fucking difficult as shit. <laughs> that's, that's the fun part, though. But, see, any type of resistance that he gets, he falters. He falters. See, this guy doesn't want challenge. He doesn't want to actually get above the adversity. He's already, he's already lost. He's already given up. If he can't do it once, or maybe twice, it's it's easier to quit. It's easier to fail than to struggle and try to overcome. And since this idiot still in the back of his head is worried about the restreamers and this is how you don't play and the detractors, trolls, haters, and critics in general, and Kiwi Farms and Reddit, and apparently some of his videos made it up on a, a live stream fails. I didn't even know that. Um, and nonsense like that, he, it's not even about the game anymore. He's fighting all these other invisible enemies in real life. He's not even, the, the game is just there. The game is just there. That's an incredible existence to have, certainly. Today, playing this, which is a good thing, but it's so hard that, like, I don't care about losing and dying. I, I, I legit don't care for the next few minutes if I need to stay here. I just don't care. And that's not good. Because when you're playing a game, you're supposed to care. And that's what motivates you to keep caring and, like, trying to win. I, I actually don't care. That's a problem, you know? You know, I want to keep doing this for a living. I love it. I have a passion for it. No passion for me. I'm a passionless individual. Holy bereft of passion. Oh, yeah, I believe I'm a walking contradiction. Sweet, sweet button mashing. You guys see it in Street Fighter every week. <laughs> so it wouldn't be a surprise to see it all right here. That was, that was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Even though he may have been expecting that little wave to come out, it might have been mistimed anyway. But it was still button mashing no matter how you cut it. Through him. The hammer went right through him and didn't register. I, I, I mean, what can I do? I'm done. You know? So I can resume from here, and next time that I play this, I will have magic, apparently. I'll be able to use magic, so when I get to those fucking plants, I can just use the lightning and kill a couple of the plants, you see? 
It would have been nice if when you were playing the game, if the game told you this, so that you would know, okay, fuck it, let me go back to the menu and get magic and then resume the stage. The game doesn't tell you that at all. I played for three hours, the game just didn't care. Now I quit out, now it tells me... You don't oh, you need magic to upgrade. beat the stage, though. You can choose to do that, but you don't need magic to do it. Yet again, path of least, least resistance. But it doesn't matter, because I assume he died a shitload of more He died a shit more times anyway. So who cares? But the game doesn't need to hoof hold you through it. That doesn't make it fun. You're taking all of the expiration out of it. That's the whole... Uh, whatever. He said he played the original, though, right? I mean, he said he did. I mean, he can emulate it. That's fun, too. Why didn't it say that at the beginning? <laughs> wow. Alright! Three hours, and I've only gone halfway through stage one. Interesting. This is going to be quite the interesting uh, playthrough for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be quite the interesting playthrough. And Phil's the lol cow of the gaming community. Dark side, fill the lol cow. Lol cow, lol cow. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's <laughs> WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care. I just can't. Alright, sorry about that. Has some buggy mechanics. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go into our uh, first music break, and then I will see you guys for uh, video number two. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> see you guys in just a second. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sound good? All right, that's sounds good to me. Uh, Carmen, I hope so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with the second video that will make up our broadcast. Brought to us by Snow Purnell, DSP, making fun of wings and LTG, no self awareness at all, and you can't DMCA, <laughs> you can't DMCA Kiwi Farms. Holy shit, Kiwi Farms is getting all the love these days. Uh, this video was published on February 27th of 2021. The link will be down in the description. Oh boy. All right, let's see what we, uh, let's see what we got going on here. Cheers, and does Pat tell you stop, don't touch me there? What? Carmen, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, seriously. I don't all know, right. if you remember those first two videos they did together? I mean, she may not have said it, but her body language definitely screamed out. Like, hey, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't say anything about touching me. So that's kind of what that felt like. Yikes. I'm going to say something right now, all right? I'm going to say it very matter of fact that I want everyone to listen up. It's very important, okay? If you want to make a joke on my stream about me, about gameplay, about, you know, I need money for something. You know, those are all things that are fair, fair game. They're fair game. Why? I'll tell you why. Because that's part of my stream. My stream is about gameplay. My stream is about... You know, You're this weak. being a business, and I need help. Yes, I do ask you guys for help. I e-bag, right? You're constantly asking your viewers and your fans for contribution. This is all matter of fact true. You want to make fun of me for that kind of stuff? I put myself out there on a daily basis, and it's, you know, it's fair game stuff, all right? Here's what's not fair game stuff. You ready? Talking about my fucking life in stupid and weird fucking ways. I had it at this point. I don't want people bringing her up with weirdo shit. I don't know what the fuck this means. I don't care. You shouldn't say shit like that about my wife. She's not part of my stream. She has nothing to do with anything. Why? You know, if you want to... Okay, what did you have for dinner today? Oh, Kat made a really good dinner. I'll tell you. 
That's it. It's not your place to now try to make fucking weirdo memes and shit with my wife and the- Shut the fuck up. How about this? How about I stalk you online, I find all your family members on your social media, and all of a sudden when Carmen T cheers about my wife, I bring up your grandmother and say something weird about her. Would you like that? You think that would make you a little uncomfortable, bro? Huh? I mean- He's a little- Well, bro, I mean, I'd like to think that I don't put out my personal business like that for profit. So, I mean, that's kind of your own fault. People have long memories. It is what it is. What'd you think was gonna happen? And you were the one who tried to sell her to us. Remember, she's the second income. I would assume she needed to pull her weight in more ways than one, right? So, what's the problem? You made you made her fair game. You did that. So, she gonna take the tip and everything else that come with it. That's your fault. If you loved her so much and you cared about her so much, why'd you put her out there? It's funny, too, because there's... <clears throat> he counter... He countered his actions when he did that whole dumb shit. You sat there and said she has no social media influence or presence, I should say. Uh, none of that exists. She only wants to, you know, have a nice life with you. She understands what you're going through day in, day, day, in, day out. So she doesn't want anything to do with your, with your content. She just loves you for you and that's all she cares about. You are enough for her. Fair enough. And if that's all it was left at, then it would have been all speculation and it wouldn't have mattered jack shit about jack shit because no one would have known her. Then he tried to sell their, uh, sell them on the idea of her doing playthroughs, maybe even doing a cooking show, her recording vlog, uh, helping him record, record DSP Tries It, so she would be on DSP Tries It, and this, that, and the third. He did all of that on his own. He tried his ass off to try to sell her to us. And then you sat there and brought her onto that horrible Halloween stream. And she just sat there for three and a half, well, I think it was like three hours, but it may have been three and a half. She sat on there for three and a half fucking hours and didn't do anything. You didn't let her play the game. You didn't let her interact with the chat. She barely said anything. Like, nothing came out of it. This, if nothing else, she spent the majority of time looking over you to actually look at the chat. It was a waste. It was a waste of time. It was a waste of everybody's time. And then you got mad because she was getting shit on more often than not from people in his own fan base, at least some of those people, and said that, oh, it's Tevin's fault that she that uh, that everything went bad. No, idiot, it was your fault. If she was going to sit there for three hours, why the fuck didn't you have her actually do something? That's just like the argument that should be made, and has been made, that when Panda was there, why didn't he, I mean, before she got a job, why didn't you have Panda edit your videos, or have her make the montages, or have her do something? It would have helped her with her content, too. She was making content at that time. But see, he don't think. He legitimately don't think. And then he mad because he has to deal with the fallout and or repercussions. No one else is going to clean this shit up. And it's kind of too late anyway. It's already past your fucking patchy gold tea anyway. You're kind of stuck with it. Oh, well. Fucking weird if I did that. So how about this? Shut the fuck up. And stop saying weird shit or you're out of here. And I mean that, that's for everyone. You shouldn't be bringing up stuff about personal stuff that has nothing to do with the stream. What the fuck would you make a weirdo meme about my fucking life that has nothing to do with anything? Shut the fuck up. If I see it again, you're gone. And I mean it. I don't care who you are. No one's immune to that shit. You don't bring up my family for in zero ways. Shut up. Oh my god, he's drinking toxic toilet juice. No, what we gotta do, we gotta make songs now. Holy man. shit. Thank you, Snorpin' <laughs> That's what I'll say. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you, Snorper Dow. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. That was dope. Thank you. Really. Thank you. For me, memes for other streamers. Because then people will use the songs to troll the other streamers. We got to do a Wendy's Chili song we have to make, come up with. And we have to come up with something like, uh, I don't know, $30 to turn on your webcam or something. <laughs> we got to come up with troll songs that I'll sing. And then people can capture those songs. And can go troll other streamers with them. There you go. <laughs> That's what we gotta do. Wait, didn't he say <laughs> that he's trying to have a positive, like, a positive community and shit, and he doesn't like or doesn't see a need to talk about other streamers on his stream? And he doesn't like the fact that other people go to those same, to other streamers and talk about him? But yet we're proceeding to do it right, we're, we're proceeding to do it right now. All right, semantics. Oh my god. Oh.
Frog in the party hat, you're right, I did yell at you 20 minutes ago for talking about <laughs> That was great! Holy shit! Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I can do whatever I want on my streams, that's correct. That's absolutely right. I'm the streamer and I can direct the stream however I so wish. If I want to make a joke song about Wings or LTG or another content creator, I can do that. That's up to me. Alright, fair enough. Don't get mad when those people shit on you later and then you're fucking crying and complaining about why everybody's fucking coming down on you and shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Which is something this coward's been doing since his YouTube days. The best part of waking up is a big gallon of Wendy's chili in your cup. <laughs> Yummy. Swish that shit around. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Harassment is against terms of service? I'm not harassing anybody. I'm not harassing anyone. It's called a lighthearted joke, dude. No one's, making, no one's actually, like, trying to hurt anyone or saying anything malicious here. Factual observations are not... are not, uh, malicious intent. Like, for example, if I said something like, um... LTG is a sexy man. Thirty dollars, he'll turn on his webcam. <laughs> I'm gay. The fuck was that? Oh. Well, this was the same guy who was watching, uh, watching makeup tutorials by dudes and shit, and, uh, got upset when sex talk came to play. Huh. You think... <laughs> mm. Oh, what is it that... L how does LTG describe that shit? That peanut butter complexion? Is that what Chancey fell? <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to hear it again. I, I, I just, I... I need confirmation on this. <laughs> no, wait. Now, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, if he feels that LTG is sexy, hey, that's on, you know, good for him. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that slowly but surely he's letting his true self seep out. I'd like to know what LTG's opinion is on that. <laughs> I need to hear it again. I need to hear it again. Like, for example, if I said something like, oh, um... LTG is a sexy man. Thirty dollars, he'll turn on his webcam. <laughs> I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, totally gay. Something like that, right? That's not. Oh. Mm, okay. All right. Hey, hey, Phil. If that's how you feel, man. That's how you feel. I, I, I personally am. Let <laughs> me mm. professional. I'm personally happy for you that you're starting to explore yourself in uh, in new ways, Phil. That's 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 really good, and, and it also explains a little bit on why you uh you were quick to co-sign a lot of stuff that low tier God was saying back in like 2018 uh, and 2019 on Twitter. Uh, it, it makes a little bit more sense now because it's funny because LTG has gone out of his way, I think, to try to distance himself from you with the whole black DSP and all that nonsense. He's tried very, very hard to do so, um, and yet you keep uh, you keep chasing him. <laughs> you keep chasing him. Well, well, well. Well, Phil, yet again. Uh, slowly but surely, you'll uh, you'll show who you really are. Good for you, though. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> That's not in mean. That's not mean spirited. That's a nice upbeat song that he can use on his streams if he wants. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, hey, Steph. Hey, Step Bro. Now, Chase, why are you making fun of Wings? No one is making fun of Wings. No one is. No one's making fun of Wings. I'm good at lying. <laughs> the web, the webcam, the webcam scam, the scam webcam. <laughs> we can come up with this stuff. I mean, truth is, people are silly enough to fall for that kind of a thing. Anyway. I guess more power to the guy. If literally people will pay the guy to turn on his webcam, I mean. There's some fucking weirdo people out there. I always gotta wonder something like that, like, okay. He's been doing that, know. well, first of all, LTG's been doing that for a while. Um, but, uh, I think when he started that initial, when he started, when he initiated that, I should say, it was, like, 20, I think it was $20 for him to turn on the mic. Or no, it was $10 to turn on the mic, and I think it was $20 for the webcam. And then, and or, you would have to buy, like, a shirt or something off of, I don't know if you had Teespring, but... Whoever he was running his merch through, you had to at least buy a shirt because he can confirm it like right away. Um, <laughs> little two guys been doing that shit for a long ass time, a long ass time. Matter of fact, 
uh, <clears throat> for any of you LTG aficionados out there, there used to be a guy by the name of, uh, I think he went by Clockman. I don't even know if he if his channel exists anymore. I know he made a backup channel, but I'm, his original one's definitely gone. Okay. Low Tier God, this guy used to, I guess he used to be actually a fan of Low Tier God for a really long time. Good, a good amount of time. Uh, even, I think, maybe going far back to his original Twitch days. <clears throat> there was some type of falling out. I can't remember what it was. It doesn't even matter. But there was a falling out, and then he started doing videos on them. Uh, kind of like what you see here. Or he would go over, like, his match footages, his match footage footage and shit. And so on and so forth. And just kind of pick that apart. Because he's a... He's... I think that guy was, like, a specialist in Third Strike. I think he was... Yeah, I think he was a big Third Strike fan. But I think he... He messed around with Street Fighter 4. He might have even messed around with a little bit of Street Fighter 5 too. But um, anyway, he used to go over uh, his footage and whatnot. And eventually he started to branch out. This is He did this for a number of years. And I, I think Lotus Here God may have even taken his channel down a couple of times. But uh, I remember his last run, he started to uh, go over some actual FGC footage, like actual match footage. And he was also going over, um, he was giving his opinion on like, on like uh, WWE matches and whatever. And that shit got really popular, like really, really fast. And he was doing really well with that. And Low Tier God allegedly collaborated with another dude to get his channel taken down. Like it was it was kind of messy um, on how that went. It's a whole long story in itself. I'm sure there's a, a, a Low Tier God detractor out there who has an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure the guy's name is like Clockman or something. And uh, even though he wasn't, one of low tier God's biggest detractors, so to speak. Um, he was at least well known, like his content has legs. It made its rounds and so on and so forth. And LTG got his ass up and out of there. Like, I mean, it took a while, but he finally did it. And I always, uh, look back at that situation and thought, and, and it's been reinforced, reinforced with DSP content is that no matter what any of these guys say, you know, Wings, Low Tier God, Amberlynn, doesn't matter what any low cow says, they're, as much as you're paying attention to them, they're paying attention to you at the end of the day. And that doesn't matter how big of a content creator you are, creator you are or a small one. They probably watch everything. Or they certainly have other people who watch it and send them clips, especially in a day and age where you can clip anything just like that. And they watch all of that shit. They really do. And why they care so much, I couldn't tell you, but, but um, they really do. But DSP especially is unique in that because he's in Low Tier God and Wings of Redemption's uh, Kiwi Farms threads on top of his own. You know what I mean? He's knee deep in that shit. And his thread is massive. Obviously, DSP's uh, Kiwi Farms section is fucking massive compared to those two. But he does go in there and I bet you he... He browses through that shit to see what's being said and whatnot. Especially the comparisons between him and them. So that's a thing in itself. So don't be surprised by any of that. At all. And it's funny too, because if I remember correctly, a lot of those guys clip some of the stuff from low tier gods like Twitter or his Instagram. I mean, the many Twitters that he's had. Like a lot of his workout footage and shit, because low tier guy likes posting a lot of that shit. And you can probably find it on YouTube Shorts as well. I wonder how much of that Phil has watched. Just saying, you know what I'm saying? LTG's in pretty good shape. I mean, keeps skipping leg day for whatever reason, but he's in pretty good shape. So, you know, you, I guess you can understand why someone like DSP would be envious of that. To go as far as calling him sexy, I don't know. If that's what you're into, that's what you're into. But, um, just to put it out there, guys. <laughs> just to put it out there. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. The end of the DSP story, I kind of don't want it to end. Because I, I, I kind of have an idea of what the end game is going to be. But I don't want it. I honestly don't want to be right. <laughs> I really don't. I rather just. I would rather just see it play out. I hope it never gets itself played out. He gets boring, certainly. But uh, I, I don't want to see his end game. Because it's going to be bad. It's going to be really, really bad. And to be honest with you, at least speaking from what I've gathered from all the time that I've done this. I don't want to see that. I really don't want to see... I don't want to see what his end game is. Because he's certainly not ready for it. And the guy has nothing else. And it's going to be really, really bad. 
his will has been broken, like quite frankly. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have much left. He doesn't have much left. Oh well. Still got a job to do, right? Let's continue. If you support my streams, you're helping me out behind the scenes with stuff. I'll tell you what you're helping me with, right? You know what is going towards. Yeah, it's no you know I'm not living in the lap of luxury here. You know that I'm not going off on extravagant fucking vacations or nothing. You're telling you it goes to taxes, going all the back shit I didn't pay. I need that money to pay my WWE champions bills. Because all the financial troubles and shit, you know, you know what's going on, right? Why? That's why you support the stream. I'm not gonna be like, oh, okay. So this is gonna be the stream until someone pays me. Like what? Like why would I do? Why would I even turn on my stream then? And the, the real question isn't. The question is not the follow. Okay. The question is not. Why does he do it? The question is, why the fuck would people pay for that? Because if he didn't get paid to do it, he wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are enabling that behavior by paying him the money to turn on the webcam. So, who, what kind of person does that? Are these people who are, like, obsessed with the guy and just want to see him so much every single stream? They absolutely are obsessed with this guy, infatuated with him, and want to physically see him every stream? Like, that's fucking now, weird. Now, it's the same person who just called him sexy. So, you, you take everything... Take everything in that he's saying with a grain of salt. Especially when, in a lot of ways, he uses the exact same tactics. So keep that in mind, too. Yeah, like, like that, would, that would freak, like, honestly, that would weird me out. Like, if there were people who came, and they were like, oh, the only reason I, 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 I want to see you every night. Oh, I, I need to see you, Phil. I'd be like, uh, I think we take a break. <laughs> I think we take a break. Uh, yeah, it's very odd to me. It's, like, very, very, very bizarre. And that would, I don't know, that would really freak me out. Because I wouldn't Wait, want people to come by and just... Keep in mind, people have been telling him, as long as they've been telling him that he should get a green screen, that, you know what, your face cam doesn't mean shit. Why is it even up there? You can just go ahead and speak, talk over the gameplay, which is what you're going to do anyway, more often than not. And that's all that it is. And he adamantly defended that shit, saying, no, 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 I need to have my face up there. Some people like my reactions. Some people like this. Some people like that. But now you're saying that you're weirded out if someone stepped over the line. Does anybody remember Papa Lou, who was a, an absolutely extraordinary individual? <laughs> that was actually some pretty funny times, actually. But um, Papa Lou used to used to he used to go over the top with some of it, and he's not the only one. There, there's other people who, to various degrees, did the exact same thing, and he dealt with it. I wouldn't say he even dealt with it. I think honestly, he was. Um, I think he craved the attention, man, woman, or otherwise. So I think he didn't care. So the point that he's making can be proven as 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 faulty. I think Papa Lou, uh, no pun intended. I think Papa Lou touched him in a place though that he wasn't. Uh, that was certainly foreign to him. Certainly, because Papa, Papa Lou was good at what he did. But um, when Papa Lou was gone. Every once in a while, Phil was like, huh, no, no, no Papa Lou in the chat? Oh, I haven't seen that guy in a while. I wonder what he's up to. So I guess you weren't too offended or too weirded out by anything, huh? Just saying. Like, why would you feel the need to bring him up if otherwise? And I don't remember Papa Lou dropping a whole lot of money either. Maybe some cheers here and there. He might have even tipped him or not. But nothing like Only Ice Coffee, for example. Or Straight Cash Homie or any other cuck over there. Something to think about. See me, me, like that's weird. You have some weird attraction to me or something, and you want to see me on you paying to see the camera. Like, that's fucking weird shit. Bring it on. That's why. I mean, let's be honest here. I'm so. Isn't okay, that kind of guys... weird shit to poach women from your fan base? <laughs> you did it twice, actually. There's nothing weird about that. Just saying, because that that definitely comes across as weird. Whatever. I guess get it how you can get it. Pay me to put on clothing. That's. It's kind of the opposite thing. It's great. I get to hide under uh, big piles of clothing, right? <laughs> oh my god, he's drinking gin. Actually, that's stuff. actually a good point, too. It's not weird to have grown men <laughs> and, and, and children, let's not forget that, and the disabled, let's not forget that, mentally and physically. It's not weird to have them give you money to put clothes on or <laughs> to dress you up like you're Mr. Potato Head or something that doesn't come across as weird. All right, just, 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 just trying to get an understanding, ladies and gentlemen. Just trying to get an understanding. 
Am I wasted? I'm not wasted at all. I told you, these are chill streams. These are just, uh, I'll take it. Just chilling. Just Look chilling and talking job. and having a good time, Hell you know? Yeah. So this is about light lighthearted. I'm not really trying to, you know, I'm not saying anything hurtful about anyone. I'm just making observations. Like, it's so odd to me that there would be people out there that that's what, oh. $30, I turn on the camera. Maybe $50, I'll blow you a kiss. You know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, where does this end exactly? You know? Like, what's going on here? Some weird shit. The bottom line is, guys, I view all of you as independent. They're not using conscious thought anymore. Intellectual, intelligent individuals meh, meh, meh. who have actively chosen to come on my streams, watch my stuff, and have fun with me. They don't even, like, have an opinion of their own. I uh, some people are just stupid. I don't, what else can I say? Like, have I, have I ever really said anything inflammatory about, about LTG? Well, let's think about this. Have I ever really said anything hurtful or inflammatory about LTG or wings on my streams? Like, ever. Maybe every once in a while I joke because people mention them on my stream, so I'll bring them up because other people are talking about them. They'll bring up a meme or whatever. But outside of that, like, never do I bring those guys up. Ever, ever. It's always incited by other people or the question from other people. I don't care about them. You know, let them do what they want to do. Do I really give a fuck if LTG charges $30 to turn on his webcam? Of course I don't. I don't care about him or his, his viewers who are dumb enough to do that. Like, why would I care? You know, let, him, let him do what he wants. If that's, if that's Calling his, his thing, viewers dumb is not inflammatory? Or saying that he's cheating on his taxes and he could get in trouble for that is not inflammatory? Just keep it, just throwing it out there. You know, I don't know if, if, if uh, low tier God would take a... <laughs> if he would shine a positive light, or if he could find a positive light, I should say, about you calling the Covenant, you know, dumb idiots. I don't think that's something he would take well. And obviously, you don't want no conflict with him anyway, because if you've ever seen Low Tier God spaz out on fucking Twitter, that shit is unnecessary. <laughs> that shit is unfucking necessary. But then again, he goes into these little tirades about depression and, and, and all kinds of extra shit, too. I don't know. He's, he's, him and him, wings and low tier guys should really talk. They they have a lot more in common than they would, you know, than people give them credit for. And at least for wings and DSP to some degree, maybe they could lose some weight together. I don't know. Couldn't hurt. And that's how he gets by. Let him get by. Same thing with people who who do all these weird things to attract kids to their streams, and they apparently have no morality issues with that. And the fact that they're basically, you know. Advertising and playing games for minors because of the way they act. I mean, listen, if that's your deal, go for it. That's like me, right? That's like me. Free! I do my own thing. I'm just happy to do my own thing. I'm happy to have an avenue to do my own thing and be myself on the stream. You know what I mean? Oh my god, he's drinking human milk. I just want, I, I, if I could just sit here and never be bothered by these people yeah. and just sit here and just do my own thing permanently and never hear from them again, I'd be perfectly fine and happy. I don't care. I don't care about any of that shit. 1969 was a good year. Cheers, did you believe the words coming out of your mouth, or are you just trolling us? No, everything I say, obviously, is a lie. Fucking idiot. Dixon slipped cheered, and he said, Three songs, Power of Love, Back in Time, and Thursday is Shower Day. What the fuck is Thursday is Shower Day? That sounds like a detractor reference, actually. <laughs> wait, oh wait, God, wait, wait, wait. I thought detractors didn't exist anymore. I thought we were all haters. I told you, he guys, I told you guys he wasn't going to be able to keep that up forever. I told you. <laughs> I told you, he always reverts back to his most basic instincts. Just give him time. But by the way, no, I don't believe that anyone actively got me banned from Streamlabs or anything like that because I haven't violated anything. I haven't actually actively violated any terms of service. What have I done? At all, nothing. <laughs> Electron Chase says, Dale would say they're Phil sexual. They're just fucking weird. Like, why, uh, again, what is the point of coming to my stream and cheering and subbing or tipping to put an insulting message on the screen? Like, it gets you nothing. It, does, it gets you, like, a snicker on a detractor channel from fucking rebroadcasting. It, you know what I mean? Like, people actually make fun of those people. Even on Kiwi Farm, people sit there and laugh at how stupid it is. They actually make fun of those people. They're like, dude, what idiot? Yeah, they're supposed to, though. Like, the whole point of Kiwi Farms is they're supposed to just observe all of it. They're supposed to essentially be neutral, to be honest. It's, it's, it's where it's, it is what it is. Like, they take shots at everybody. They're kind of supposed to at the end of the day. So what does that mean? Like, how does that hold any type of anything over anything? At the end of the day, that's what free speech is. They can have their opinion about whatever. So on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? How many detractors do you know that have fucking threads on Kiwi Farms devoted to them? <laughs> you can't say that. But how many of, <laughs> but how many uh, uh, pay pigs have been exposed up there? 
Just, just, just saying, Phil. It, it's just, you know, guilty by association, I suppose. You know what I'm saying? The toxic toilet juice is spreading. I, I don't know. So it is what it is, especially the few pay pigs who whatever for whatever or for whatever reason decide to get brave and make accounts and think they can go over there and try to troll or talk shit or whatever. That shit never works well. Ever. I mean, look at what happened to Brightside Viking. He's probably one of the great examples of that. I mean, granted, they end up taking him in later, but he had nowhere else to go. But um, Jesus Christ, Phil, after you stabbed him in the back after he front lined for you and gave his ass the blood eagle treatment, they were the ones who took him in and patched his ass up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They could have easily have finished Brightside Viking off after that, and they chose not to. They chose to spare him. So the fact that they make fun of everybody means what? It doesn't mean anything. So why would you try to use that as something else to shield yourself with? It's fucking pathetic. Stop. Stop. You know, contributing to Phil's streams just to have that pop up, you have to be a complete fucking loser. The people who are losers making fun of me also make fun of those people. So it's like the losers making fun of the losers. How low can you go? How low can you go when it comes to trolling? You know what I mean? <laughs> This is hilarious. Imagine believing the scam, says Chenzo. Ah, imagine, imagine saying that on my stream and not thinking I wasn't going to ban your dumb fucking ass immediately. Imagine that. Who's the real dummy here? Alrighty then. So Carl cheer and said, why don't you take down hater stalker sites like Kiwi Farms and shit with DMCA's? These people should be in jail. First of all, you can't. It's not how DMCA works. So you're, you're very sadly mistaken. Alright? Also, there are laws in place that sadly protects sites like that. That basically say that the owner of the site is not responsible for the content posted on the site. I find that to be silly, because I'm pretty sure that if that site was full with pedophilia or death threats against people, the site could probably be taken down. But the fact that instead it's just a bunch of conspiracy, conspiracy theories and slander and defamation, for some reason it's allowed. I don't understand that, but the, the sad part is... Most Wait, people who, who, if he wants to call free speech defamation, wasn't that what he did when he um, had a... What the West Coast hater site when he was a uh, when he was a part of a uh, when he was when he was part of the FGC, and he made a, a and he made a counter site to those West Coast players. So they made a site basically praising each other and so on and so forth and talking about shit. He went ahead and made a site to counter that shitting on West Coast players. So it wasn't defamation then, but it's defamation now. And like I said, he devoted a whole site just to these just to these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kiwi Farms isn't completely and totally devoted to fucking Dark Side Phil. There's a bunch of people on that front page. So, what, what's he mad about? Like, if nothing else, <clears throat> he should be glad. Because he never talks about Locale Wiki, Encyclopedia Dramatica. He barely ever brings up Reddit. And we already know he's knee deep upon, uh, he's knee deep in Detractor Twitter. So, there's more than one place to do it. Are you going to DMCA Twitter? Or Reddit? No. <laughs> they talk shit about it all, all the time over there, too. Do stuff on those sites. They're not malicious at all. They're not actually actively trying to hurt me or my family. Sadly, it's the fringe person. It's the person who, like, they go to that site, and they, they read it, and they lose their minds. They become obsessed. And that person cannot control themselves. And then they go the extra steps to try to hurt me and my family. So, the problem here is... Not the fact that the site exists, but the fact that because the site exists, it is a centralized place for people to say disgusting negative things about people, and then the wrong people who can't control themselves go to that site, lose their minds, and then actively try to do nasty things. Okay? You're, you're fucking and retarded. Because, in, in truth, he actually lied too, because he said it's not, the problem is not that the site exists. If that's, if Kiwi Farms didn't exist, then people would just find another place to go. They would just find another site to do it. They would just do it on Kiwi. They would just do it on. Uh, sorry, they would do it on Reddit, which they've been doing. They can do it. They would go to uh, Detractor Twitter, or just Twitter in general. They can go to shit. People sit there and still contribute to his Encyclopedia Dramatica. I mean, there'll there'll always be somewhere to go to talk about dumb shit. And if you take out one, another one will just pop up, or some, or they'll find other places to do it. There's fucking, there are detractor, um, there are detractor discourse where they go about that. Is he going to try to get that shit taken down? No. So then what's the point of any of that? He's really just trying to stamp out free speech. Because 
I would assume, I, I can't, I can't confirm or deny anything because I don't know, but I would assume that if there are any type of ops that's being done, it's being done in, on all of those medians, not just Kiwi Farms. And Kiwi Farms is pretty fucking public. Matter of fact, this, isn't this the same bitch who said that, oh, you know, I had to take extra precautions when me and Catherine went to go and see my sick and dying parents because there was some plot that was uncovered on Kiwi Farms and whatnot that they were going to try to break into my house and do stuff and yada, yada, yada. Did, wasn't he the one who said that? So it wasn't this invisible plot if it was publicly posted on Kiwi Farms, right? No? Am I, am I not right about that? Did I miss something? Do we not understand the difference between public and private? Anything? Anything at all? But we use every little thing we can to shield ourselves or to gaslight or to do whatever. It doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, you can't say you can't say what you want to say on a stream or you can't express what you feel on the streams. You'll get banned. Couldn't do it on the King of Hate forums. You're going to get banned from there, too. So where else are you going to do it? And then he's going to block you on Twitter. So where else are you going to talk to him about? I mean, you can't speak directly to him about anything. He's a coward. And if he, even if you sent him an email, he'd more it's more likely going to go into spam. And he's going to probably say it after that. He's probably never going to read it. Especially after the situation with uh, Superhound. He's probably scared that any letter or any email that's sent to him probably links to something else is probably going to fuck him. Because, you know, he's an idiot. Just throwing it out there. Funny because that site in particular, I, I, will, I will say this. I'm not 100% ignorant or 100% negative, all right? At least in regards to kiwifarms.net, they have an open policy that says you should not try to actively mess with the lives of people that we're making fun of here. Like, they, their philosophy is that these people are train wrecks enough that they will ruin their lives by themselves. You don't have to actively get involved in the process and try to, to screw with it. So, for example, when someone called into my bankruptcy hearing last year and tried to impersonate one of my creditors, they didn't support that action. They thought that was incredibly fucking stupid that someone did that. When someone lies about me on the internet outright, says something that's not true, you know, they'll say, no, nah, that's stupid. Why are you doing that? Okay? So, I, and to their credit, that's obviously at least something honorable. The problem is... There's so much rampant speculation and, and just defamation and slander there that's not true about me that, again, the wrong person sees it, thinks it's a fact, and then immediately takes action, which they shouldn't be doing, and they don't condone that, but it happens as a result of that site existing, you know? I but I thought friend, you said the problem was that... I thought you just said... I thought he just said that the site existing wasn't the problem. You see how we ain't come full circle? So either we lying or we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Could be a little bit of both. On top of that, though... <laughs> and this is the real takeaway, just in case you guys might have missed it. He's basically saying anybody who goes to Kiwi Farms are mentally ill. That's pretty fucking incredible. That, that, that's, that's pretty fucking amazing. It's even more amazing, ladies and gentlemen, because there are people within his fan base and his mods who go to Kiwi Farms. This Tard himself goes to Kiwi Farms. It's already been confirmed. There's a thread over there for any of you guys who are would like to go over there and look that actually you um it's a thread meant to speak to dark side phil it's merely there for you to go ahead and express your thoughts to him directly because we already know he reads it there you go so outside of general discussions and there, there's the general discussions there the talk to dark side phil those are probably the two biggest ones and he probably is knee deep in the elite and the uh and the Catherine thread, because <clears throat> there's all kinds of good tidbits there. And he can sit there and try to deny all he wants about Catherine's history. We already know who she is. We have a really good idea of what her background is. And it's not pleasant, to, to be honest. It, she, it, it's it's kind of uncomfortable, to say the very least. It's a, it's a, shitty, it's a shitty situation. So what are you mad about, Phil? That was stuff that you probably didn't know. If I had to guess, and I assume I'm not too far off of the mark, you should be so glad. Oh, well. It's a thankless job, I'm sure. But I'm sure the Kiwi Farms appreciates all the shoutouts. <laughs> was this thing someone tried to send me besides the cardboard penis? I told you someone sent me fucking gorilla feces. They thought it was hilarious. Gorilla feces. 
But no, there's no way to DMCA take down the site. There's no way to legally take it down. That site apparently is already being sued by frivolous lawsuit after frivolous lawsuit, and none of it has any any effect. Yeah, so. he's knee deep in there. He has. I wonder if he watches Null's uh, Mad at the Internet YouTube channel, because I think he streams on Fridays. I wonder if he actually watches that too, because Null talks about that very publicly. He might actually. Uh, he might be lurking Null's Twitter too. Hmm. Someone should tell him. <laughs> Let him know. I would, I would never worry about something like that. I, I'm not going to stop those people from existing. If, if the thing is, if Kiwi Farms was taken down, another website would pop up overnight to do the same thing. So there's no point. Frog in a party hat cheers. By that same logic, can't they say that you're responsible for people on your King of Hate forums who are fanatic DSP fans who go to Kiwi Farms and send death threats? No, because I have actively told you guys many, many, many times that I don't want that to ever happen. So I what? No one just said the same thing, but you said it doesn't matter because his site is open to anybody and anybody could go up there and take that for the, and take anything that's set up there the wrong way. Your forms work the exact same fucking way. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't get to shield yourself from that. Oh, well, let's go ahead and hear the rest of his logic. I condemn that action and people should not be doing that. Now, people actively go against my wishes and do that. I can't stop them. And I'll tell you this, if you ever... But then it do doesn't kind of absolve you either. If it's, if it's, if the, if the responsibility of the people who use Kiwi Farms falls on Null, then it falls on you too. At the end of the day, with your site. You don't get to sit there and shit on this site over here and say, oh, well, that could happen from my site, but that's not my fault because that was against my wishes. First off, you don't have wishes. You don't make demands. You merely say, hey, please don't do this. That's not what's needed. You're only going to make shit worse for me. At the end of the day, freedom of speech and the freedom to think is still yours, at least for right now. They haven't taken that away from you yet. You know, you're not a fan of mine. Just saying that outright. If you do that kind of shit, you're not a fan of mine. Because anyone who's a fan of mine would not be doing that kind of disgusting stuff. It's that simple. You're defying my wishes and doing that. You're fucked up in the head. You should not be doing that. Okay? So You don't think it's not that. fucked up in the head to say you're defying my wishes? That doesn't sound... Whatever. All right, whatever. Now, uh, am I saying actively that Kiwi Farms is responsible for crazy people? No, I just said that. I just said no. <clears throat> it's not their fault that there's nutty people out there who do crazy shit. But the fact that they have found a centralized way to focus toxic content that's all speculation about people is pretty fucked up. They should have better things to do with their time. They should have fucking lives instead of sitting around trying to slander and defame people on the internet. It's pretty f fucking ridiculously stupid. Okay, come see that. There's still this back here, and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has you certainly are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into the third video of our broadcast after a short music break. I will see you guys in just a second. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh boy, such mental gymnastic fuckery there. It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Sound good? Alright, that's 
Sounds good to me. Let's Jack. hope so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with the third video that will make up our broadcast. Brought to us by Snow Brunel, DSP. Uh, let's see. Wales achieve double vest goal again. Destroyed in Street Fighter. Uh oh, we're going to make the screen bigger. Black Hole Brunel and Ferrodian Slip. Uh, this was published. I always feel like I'm mispronouncing that. <laughs> um, actually, I. Yeah, Ferrodian slip. Uh, I kind of am, I kind of not. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this was published on February 28th of 2021. 20, 20, uh, the link will be down in the description because that is a thing. Black hole Bruno. That's hilarious. All right, here we go. Raxer just tipped me $200. <laughs> And indeed it is legit, Jax Raxer is here, he has confirmed it's real. Jax Raxer has tipped me $200 before we even played a single match tonight. He says the following, As I promised, I'm here to take back my tipping crown for 2021. And this means that we need to do some vesting. We got a first poll, and the first poll, Platinum won. Now we need to run a second poll to determine the other vest, because yes, it's a double vest goal that we hit, which means I need to wear two vests tonight. Alright. <laughs> In the meantime, I guess I'll get the gunner glasses on. Alright? Okay. So, Platinum and Red. Let me go get the vests. Let's get the vests. Platinum and Red. <laughs> Can you imagine if any of my neighbors saw... You know what? I'm gonna dance in front of my window right now and see if any of my neighbors see me wearing two red vests. They're two different vests. Here we go. Hey, everyone out there, you see me? See me in these vests? Yeah, I'm so cool. <laughs> Damn, he must have hit the sauce early that night. <laughs> I mean, matter of fact, he... I mean, Friday nights are probably a good night for him to drink anyway. It might actually help loosen him up. He might actually learn something. Uh, to be honest with you, because you don't, I don't think he tokes, so might as well. I mean, granted, if he's not already drinking, which more often than not he is. <laughs> yes, if any normal person walked by and saw me wearing one half of each vest right now, they'd probably call the, uh, the, the local mental institution and have someone come by and get me. All right. So, here I am. Oh, I am ready for Street Fighter now. Let me tell you guys. This is my Street Fighter a a apparel here. <laughs> All right. The headphones ready. Who's the clown? All right, Mr. Puffy Nipples is back. He was here earlier today. He just tipped another $1.30 and says, I'm back. When is your ear doctor appointment? I bet you are tired of wearing your headphones around your neck. Well, it's supposed to be in early March. But here's the thing. I may not be able to go yet because... My wife is going to have a new work schedule. And if her new work what schedule... What the fuck does that work... have to do with you? Is he really... Can he not drive anymore? Is he too scared to go to the doctor on his own? Oh, okay, I, I need to hear the reason. This, this, What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Schedule your doctor's appointment on a day that she's off then. He's scared to go. He's scared to go. Because trust me, this dude has other under, underlying problems. And he knows it. And he doesn't want to hear it. Ignorance is bliss. Wow. All right. Whatever. Let's hear him out. That day. Okay. I can't go. I got to reschedule it again. What? <laughs> what? So I got to see what happens with her work schedule, which is supposed to change this upcoming week. We're supposed to finally get the official word on what's going to happen with that and then go from there. The good news is I have had zero problems with my ears since I've been wearing the headphones like this. I have not had a single itchiness. I have not had any problems with pain, pre nothing. So obviously it was the headphones that's the problem, okay? But obviously if I go to the doctor... No, your fucking... Looking your hygiene was the problem. But even still, e even still, he's literally... You, you, he's in inducing pignosis on himself. He's not going. He's... What are you scared of, though? But he's certainly not going. But I wonder what he's scared of. And then on top of that... On top of that, I'm sorry. He could, if need be, Catherine would need to shift her shift her, her normal day off or something, or whatever, or her new day off, whatever the case may be. Or she goes in later. Who cares? Matter of fact, like I said, he has his own car. He can drive himself. But all right, um, if worst case scenario, she only lives like 15 minutes from the house anyway, like 12 to 15 minutes, where she works, I should say. She could literally take an early break, go out there. Not even she could literally take a break. Go out there, get his ass, drop him off, go back to work, and then pick him up in like 45 minutes to an hour. Or whatever the case may be. 
He might, he's just going to have to wait a little bit. No problem. Get on Kiwi Farms and shit to fucking pass the time by. This isn't difficult. Or he could, well, no, because you don't want to drive. I was going to say, just drop her off at work that day. You know what I'm saying? Get up early, drop her off, come home, or then head to your doctor's appointment, I should say. And when after your doctor's appointment is over, drive by her job, see if she can take a quick break, drop you off, and then she can go back. It's a whole lot of back and forth, but then again, she only worked like 15 minutes away. He could literally drop the car off in the parking lot to her, give her the keys, and then walk home. Oh, well. That would be reasonable. In there, if there's anything further I can do besides just not wearing headphones. So, I want to go, but we have to see what happens, uh, you know, in the next week, so. Can't block. Can't block. I can't do anything right now. I can't get out of the corner because the lag is so bad. No no, what he was going for was he's trying to counter hit because you can clearly hear him pressing buttons. <laughs> you pressing a button essentially doesn't help you block. If you're trying to press a button, then that means you're 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 committing an action. You can't block and do an action at the same time. Can't block, can't do anything. The guy literally just does random move after random move. I can't do anything about it because of the delay. It's fucking ridiculous nonsense. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. How do these people play this fucking game and think this is good gameplay? How do you think this is good gameplay? All you're doing is headbutt. I can't do anything about it because of your fucking insanely bad connection. Oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is so bad. I'm gonna walk that headbutt. 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 Oh, it's working because I'm, I'm the worst connection possible. Headbutt. Headbutt. Wow, you're a good play. Look at this. It won't even load the menu. Alright. Nope. Fuck that. I'll join a different lobby. No, waste of my time. Complete waste of time. Lag city. He quit. He rage quit. Did you see that? He quit the lobby. <laughs> wow, so far we still hit me. Wow, no block, nothing. I'm impressive. No 360. Nothing I can do. I don't know you could do that. You could, you could jump, jab, and cancel into the die with old hawk. I had no idea. I did it completely by accident. But anyway, I basically was trying to beat the guy in a very tough matchup. All he has to do is do basic guile stuff, and it's very hard for T-Hawk to get in on him. And as you can see, every opportunity I, I had for kick throw, I didn't get the throw. What do you mean basic guile really stuff? I mean, he only has two specials. And everything else are normals to essentially keep you out. And this whole bullshit about, oh, being impressive. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Get the win. <laughs> you don't have anything to fucking prove this asshole. Just beat his ass and send him on his way. The guy obviously is a loser. Nice. What? My freaking scissor didn't come out. Yeah, he got mad lucky three times. Nah, he, he didn't get mad lucky. His dumb ass was... If Phil didn't keep trying to smash that fucking, uh, that medium kick, he wouldn't have had that problem. Well, it wasn't medium, it was a light. It's a light close, I think. If he wasn't mashing that shit, he wouldn't have been susceptible to the throw, and then that threw his whole rhythm off. Like I said, Phil doesn't adapt well. He really don't. And throws are like a mental reset for him. <laughs> and it takes a while to reboot. <laughs> okay, I did Scissor. Scissor goes over all of Val's low attacks and hits twice. I couldn't get it to come out. Three times in a row it whiffed. That's so annoying. Whining, complaining. <laughs> oh, wow. So after I threw, I did low meaty fierce. The game decides she could jump out of it. I don't know why, because that was a perfectly timed meaty. She gets out of it and lands immediately gets a throw that does insane damage. That's that's crazy how how. It's crazy how sadly, that's why, when you say, oh, certain characters are good or bad in a game, right? Trey Long, Faye Long is not good. <laughs> Little wimpy light kicks. Are right, you can see the whole lobby just trolls now. Go for it. Uh, I don't know if that was, if that was, uh, was that, <laughs> was that Pay Pick Cucks? I'm not sure if that what that was. I just kind of briefly looked, but big ups to them and big ups to Jose. <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. oh, was it? Or was it? Um, was it? 
cult pay uh, pay cucks. I don't know. I guess I can always go back and look. What the fuck? I didn't get hit. Wow. Oh my god. Yo, he hit me with a hundred random moves. You win. He hit me with a hundred random fucking moves. And everything he did, I could either block or parry in a normal match. I can't do it in that match because of the lag. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, lag, 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 lag. I'm not doing that. Fruits 07. I can't get out of here because of Jose. Being in the street says, oh, God, I have to leave because of Jose. Um, awesome is Kaboom cheered again. He says, if I tip you $600. Yeah, it is, it's, uh, it's, it's pig cult cucks. <laughs> it's good shit. It's good shit nonetheless. It's funny. Would you dress up as Ken and I'll be Barbie? Absolutely not. It's really stupid. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Pumpy Bean is cheers. I accidentally farted on my girlfriend during sex. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. If you ever say that again, I will have to permanently ban you from the channel. You should keep that stuff to yourself. No one cares. Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't get a super. Yeah. It's too laggy. He just, just oh, he's gonna blitz up five times in a row. I can't even get a move out. So I'm out of this lobby. It's a waste of time to even wait around playing that lobby. Completely lag so I can't play anything. Wait, my time if he had hit even let's say he hit the super though, when more than likely Honda would already be on his way up anyway and getting ready to come down. So at best they trade, but at worst he still takes the hit. I mean at best, I mean well, yeah, we're, best case scenario they trade. Worst case scenario, he's still gonna take the hit, and then he loses the super. Uh, I don't know, whatever. He quit the room, dude. He's so embarrassed, he quit the fucking room. He's like, fuck this shit. God damn, that's bad. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now, this guy probably knows how to fuck with the game, so I can't play, right? <laughs> WWE <laughs> Champions <What>? DSP. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, I think that Jacksville is also a choke. Have you noticed he's following me around all night, right? All fucking night, he's following me everywhere we went. So now we've got Jose in Jacksville who follow me around. Wait, but, you, I mean, but Jacksville's been in a bunch of DSP streams. Like that—that's—that's that, that's a—that's definitely a name that sticks out to me. They've been in a bunch of DSP streams. They, he's played him quite a few times. So I don't know, he must be just irritated. His gout must be acting up. This other WWE champions idiot. He fucking doesn't play, but at least it fucking lose the game, you know. Look at this idiot. He's sitting here again. <clears throat> well, the match isn't even starting. It might be fucked up. Ow. What I can do about that? Yeah, I have no reversal. Since I have no reversal, I can't do anything about that. I'm just gonna keep jumping. I have to do a little first punch because I can't do turn punch. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about that. There's literally nothing I can do. I have no reversal. Yeah. All I right, told y'all, he's it. susceptible to throws. You know what I'm saying? If, if gout has kryptonite, that's what, <laughs> that's what throws are. <laughs> or that's at least, at least one of them. Oh my god, he, he's so bad. He's so bad when it comes to that. Yikes. And if someone sees that, they're gonna, uh, of course, keep doing it. Why wouldn't they? Yikes. In, in this game, when you tick throw like Whoa, that, wait unless you uh, let's see, you got 101 tips during the day. He made 347 that night. God damn. Literally, literally milking them for their financial milk for as much as he can. Jesus Christ. That's insane. Reversal to blow through the tick throw attempt in hyper fighting. You can't get out of it. And uh, Balrog has no reversal move. He has zero reversal, but they give him no moves of invincibility. So because of that, he can't get out of tick throws. He will get tick throw the entire time. And that's why he kind of sucks in that game. Complaining and making excuses. Like a whining, crying, tear-eyed baby. No, the goal is not for me to put on a pair of jeans. I don't know why you guys are saying that. I put on a pair of jeans when I go out every week. I don't need to put them on when I'm streaming games. But anyway, <laughs> um, I guess it's a new meme. A new, a new stupid troll meme is jeans. Of all the memes to come out, jeans is the new one, apparently. Once again, people in the chat are all spamming about this jeans uh, meme. I don't know what the jeans meme is. I don't even know how it became a thing besides just probably some... 
trollish restreamer who tried to make a running joke of it and people are just so slow slow witted and, and you know weak minded that they think it's funny to just repeat the same thing ad nauseum, you know. Like most memes. Anyway, um Monday. I'm doing another major stream of Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. I played this game the other day. It completely whooped my ass. Like bent me over, took a paddle, beat the shit out of my butt cheeks. I could not even beat the first stage. This game is that difficult, all right? On Legend difficulty, this shit is no joke. But I just found out that there's magic in the game. I didn't even know it existed. So maybe if I utilize some magic, I'll actually be able to beat the first stage and move on to the second. Okay? So we were literally a crash test dummy for the first three hours. <laughs> three, three and a half hours. So for three hours, this guy literally played the proverbial crash test dummy and whatnot and didn't even, didn't even think about checking options and whatnot and seeing what was what. Just go ahead and keep beating your head against the wall in the hopes that the wall will give away before your, your skull does. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. That, that's, that's really you using your noodle, apparently. Tipping is a particularly good way to support because number one, those are funds that I can use right away for important things, right? Whether it's grocery shopping, buying supplies for, for Jasper, um, taking my wife out to a nice dinner once a week, which we get to do. Or I like too, though, in the recent, I guess just this year, to be honest, He's been more and more desperate, uh, so we have to throw Jasper in the mix, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I want to take Catherine out and spend time with her. It's my only day of doing it. Oh, and also, you know, we need food for Jasper. Like, you're telling me you can't afford two or three weeks' worth of cat food off one check? Or, sorry, off one night of tips? You really can't do that? But you can make sure you and Catherine are eating, eating what, three meals? All takeout, of course, or ordering in, I should say. Um, a day? That's the priority, huh? And last time I checked, cat food was was kind of inexpensive. And it's not like Phil's getting Jasper, you know, the best of the best. <laughs> Buying games for the streams, paying bills. In particular, like I told you guys, I'm currently trying to raise uh, funds in order to play, uh, excuse me, pay my tax guy so he'll file my federal tax. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, we knew what that meant. Okay, what game was he saving up for? <laughs> Here's another thing too. I, I since you know we, we're still talking, right? Um, why hasn't the Amazon wish list been a thing? Why haven't that, why hasn't that been brought up yet? Or are we gonna wait and do that for whenever he finally? convinces somebody to be dumb enough to give him an Xbox. Is that how we're going to play that? Is that what that situation is going to be? Speaking of which, and this is something I should have brought up in the last video, it's funny how he shits on low tier God for having $30 to turn on his mic or his webcam or whatever, but he literally begged and pleaded for people to give him money so he could get a PS5 so he could have that day one. You guys remember that? And then when other people weren't able to get the X, uh, get the PlayStation for at least a couple days or a week later, he sat there on Twitter and basically threw shade at them because they had to wait a week. Yet he bitch fitted and said his business relied and was dependent on him getting a PS5 day one. If not, he was gonna be completely out of the loop. He ended up getting a day two, if I remember correctly, and nothing changed. Nothing changed. Keep that in mind. Like I told you guys, I'm currently trying to raise uh, funds in order to play WWE champions, uh, excuse me, pay my tax guy so he'll file my federal taxes. All these things come into play, okay? So, tipping helps with all of that. WWE champions, man, must be chapping his ass. <laughs> WWE champions must be chapping his ass if this is what we've come down to. Like, that shit is, when it comes to tips, WWE Champions is on the brain. That's why his Twitch paycheck and everything covers everything else. And, obviously, whatever he makes on YouTube, plus Patreon, plus whatever money he's getting behind the scenes. Apparently, tips are completely and totally dedicated and or de designated for WWE Champions. That's insane. He's, he's, he's legitimately an addict. <laughs> Shit, he's legitimately an addict. We're, we're, we're fucking up the whole narrative and everything. Jesus, hurtful. Just hurtful. Phil, you need help. I know you like to call everybody else mentally ill, but, I mean, you really need help, buddy. 
<laughs> Those cards aren't real. <laughs> Those cards don't love you, bruh. And whatever chat that you're in or whatever guild that you're in, they don't give a fuck about you. You're a pay pig. Well, you're not a pay pig. You're a whale. You're a whale. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. They can, I mean, they'll take you in for now until they can get a better one in there. I mean, I guess he, he likes to go over there and bitch because there, there are screenshots from the, the many names that he cycled through where he's literally in there complaining about shit. I think, honestly, uh, as it pertains to WWE Champions, he just likes the recognition that comes out of it. He likes the fact that there are people there that will listen to him, even if he has to pay for it. Even if he has to pay for it, he's he's content with that as long as he gets his dopamine fix out of it. It's really sad. It's really sad. They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. I agree with you. Um, Elon Just Juice says, why do all big donators hide their names? Why do big supporters of the channel never talk in chat or want the rest of the community to thank them? Elon Just, you know the answer. You're being a troll. So you better watch yourself. But the truth is that the big contributors get harassed by trolls on the internet. It's stupid. People go after them for supporting me. It's dumb as shit. So they try their best to hide, you know, their real life information, hide their identities. And they try not to talk too much to people in the chat because then people come and harass them. That's why. It's that simple. They don't want to be harassed in real life for fucking supporting a streamer. It's, it's insane that people would do that. You, know, you have to be not in your right mind to do that anyway. But people do it. So stop asking stupid questions. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has Indeed he is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now to the sad part of the broadcast. We are here for the last video of not only February, but also of our broadcast. It's, it's truly hurtful. But it's a thing. Progress has to continue to move forward. <laughs> so um, uh, we'll go into our last music break, and uh, I will set up video number four, and then we will get started. See you guys in just a second. Disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... Sounds good to me. Look at hope. Oh, we're gonna have to expand on that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, for the fourth and last video that will make up our broadcast, it's brought to us by Snow Brunel, DSP. Salty Bozo crying and complaining in Call of Duty. Or COD. Um, let's see. Showing the belly again. <laughs> Pig gut. <laughs> And, um, my nuts are not for sale, as if anybody would really want those. Unless it's Panda. Anyway, that video came out on February 28th of 2021. The link will be down in the description. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. That's bullshit as well. That's complete bullshit. Twice the knife doesn't hit him, are you serious? That's stupidity. 
is right in front of me. There's the salt. The delicious salt. Huh? I ran up a knife, but the game crunch he hit me. It didn't make any sense. Stupid. Oh, you died. Yeah, fuck this. This is a terrible match. This is fucking garbage. Oh, you're getting salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Securing Bravo. Charlie locked up. What? He just fired through the wall. <laughs> I'm sorry. Him getting shot by that cloud. And, and the last transition was, uh, was... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now... Oh my god, I'm sorry. Let me get together. Let me get together. <laughs> that was really... I'm sorry, that was really funny. It's been a while. Um, okay, so... As it pertains to this scene here, where he ends up getting shot through the wall, right? It's Raid. If any of you guys played Black Ops 2, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That was... That, that whole little corridor there is essentially sniper's alley and if they got full metal jacket and whatnot you're gonna punch right through that wall easy easy which is the reason why you should never really go up that staircase anyway unless you're gonna immediately hug the left hand side and go right into that little room there if not you should either be going off to your right which leads uh to uh i'm on like a little penthouse area off to that side there or it, it'll allow you just to go off to the right flank or you should go ahead and run to your left, which takes you out into the, uh, what's that, that outer section. There's a van there and then leads you to the courtyard. Yet again, he needs to be flanking. He needs to stop running forward and let your teammates capture the point if they haven't already captured it. The points aren't going to do him any favors anyway. Oh, the clown shit was funny though. Well, and it killed me. Uh, Treyarch, we got some explaining to do. That's legit some of the worst gameplay I've ever seen. Okay, well, that's fair. He's scoping. There's no way he aimed at. It's fucking horseshit. Fucking scrub. All I can taste is the saltiness. That didn't count according to the game. Look at this. He never even aimed. The game gave him an insta-kill shot with zero aiming. What a piece of shit game. My mouth is full of salt. Oh shit, there he goes. They wouldn't let me get it. Son of a bitch. Oh man. That was a lot of work. I I didn't even know you It was a lot of work to run run around or run run after, I should say. Uh, a a player who probably doesn't have headphones on because the, the, the footsteps are pretty distinct. And you still didn't get a kill? He, he should have disengaged after a little while anyway. Cause sooner or later he's gonna get turned on, as you've seen with those uh with those sniper clips. He's so bad. <laughs> He's just so bad. Could be this lazy. Ah, oh, I was just out of range. Just out of range. If you can support today, please. If you can tip me, please do. Tips right now are lagging behind. Well, I appreciate everything else. I mean, cheers today were outstanding. So thank you guys. And everyone could, every single person, could, oh, that's e-begging. That's not begging. That's advertisement. 
Stay right behind them, they have, there's infinite run. See, in previous Call of Duty games, it was more fair because they would run out of stamina and then you could walk up and hit them. In this one, they have infinite runs. They could just infinitely run away from you. you can't the reason why they give you infinite really. runs, though, is, or a marathon, if you will, um, it kind of makes sense because they wanted to promote mobility. Uh, back in, he's, he's right, back in older Call of Duties, it wasn't that, well, you had marathon, you had, well, let's go back to Call of Duty, actually, or Black Ops, that'd probably be easier. Uh, I think it was really just marathon. I think it allowed you to sprint for like maybe 15, 20 seconds, if that long. Mm -hmm. Basically enough for you to, mm -hmm. to get from one point to another. And then you had a small cooldown and then you did it again, essentially. I mean, I think with Infinite Run, I think, like I said, it, it promotes mobility, but you're always going to have campers. So it is what it is. The, the important part was giving everybody built-in toughness. That's what it came down to. Toughness should have been built in to the uh into the the characters anyway it shouldn't have been a perk i understand that was supposed to play a meta but i mean and after a while at least with your submachine guns and whatnot you can kind of figure out how to balance it out if you balance your recoil as well but toughness is kind of just one of those things that should have been built in either which way and yet again same thing with marathon oh my god dude just shut up <laughs> Just shut up and stop whining. Ugh. Damn it, man. I should have had that guy. Losing A. Dude, can you blame that? What am I supposed to do? I was right in front of my swing. It doesn't register and I died because the game is so laggy. The thing was choppy as fuck. Stupid shit, man. They've got to fix that. They've got to fix that. It's not just this map either. It's a bunch of maps to do that. We're $38 in tips. It'd be nice to at least hit the halfway tips goal, but I would love to hit the full tips goal today. If you guys could support via tips, I would appreciate it. Okay? Oh my god, he's drinking gin. He ran through my full auto, didn't take enough damage to die, but insta kills me. You can tell it's a laggy match. You can tell now. You can definitively tell the difference between a laggy match and a laggy match. Want... Fuck that. You took too long to shoot him. Like as soon as he came up in the thermo, you should have just laid. His, you should have just laid into him. No, 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 no. You can, you don't get you don't get freebies. You don't get benefits of dots around here. That's just bullshit. You're gonna run that to your goat. You're gonna run to that as your go-to excuse anyway. Now right, let's watch the replay. Okay. Oh my God, he's drinking gin. There he goes. Hasn't didn't even shoot at him until the guy turned on him, and he missed the majority of his shots. So shut that shit the fuck up. He ran through my full auto, didn't take enough damage to die, but insta kills me. You can tell it's a laggy match. You can tell now. You can definitively tell the difference between a good connection and a laggy ass connection. I shot the guy a hundred times, his mouth all the way down, he doesn't die, I instantly die. Yeah, this, it sucks. There's no way now I'm supposed to get 20 kills and I'm not gonna get anything. Whoever, whoever wagered is fucked. Seriously, you're completely fucked and it's not your fault. This guy's constantly whining. Wah, wah. Shut the fuck up. God damn. Wah, wah. Oh my god. I'm shocked that I got that kill. Yet again, why are you waiting so long? And no one told you to run out there like some blunt tool and shit to be, <laughs> to be taken advantage of like that? He just He's literally just walking himself into the meat grinder. And then you're going to melee him? Why'd you do that when you could have just shot him the moment you saw him slide in? <laughs> I'm sure Cat would have liked that joke. Anyway. Couldn't kill him, are you fucking serious? I give up. Yeah, it's a laggy fucking match. This is what happens when you get a, a bunch of great matches and they put you in. Oh, skill based matchmaking. You no, know, it's not skill based because you put me in a bunch of laggy fucks. You put me in a bunch of laggy fucks, so I can't hit anyone. You fucking idiots. Look, oh, I'm already instantly dead. He wasn't there. 
You gave him an instant cheap kill when I have no chance to retaliate. Fuck a piece of shit. Fuck this. Who wasted time? Wasted my badge. We wasted like 10 minutes. I want my fucking time with my life back. I do. I want my time back for wasting my fucking time playing this laggy garbage. Basically, here's a whiny baby. The first tip was from Bad Guy Four Two Three Nine Nine, who tipped me thirty dollars. That gets us up to ninety dollars in tips, which is awesome. But also during that match, Joyful Oblivion tipped me forty dollars and thirty cents. It is official. We have hit the tips goal for the stream. Thank you guys. We've exceeded it, and now it's time for a vest. Sorry, I'm tr I'm trying to be responsible here. I really feel this actually could hurt children. I, I have to warn you, this is nasty as shit, okay? Like, real nasty shit. All right, you ready? By the way, what the hell? This thing's got a giant... Oh, it's my t-shirt has a giant string coming out of it. What the hell? There we go, I had a giant string coming out of this thing. <laughs> hey, stupid! Knock, knock! Kids might be watching! Yeah, it's trying you to just, give it up you... for the pay pigs, I guess. Trying to entice them, I suppose. Draw more of the whales out. Is that what only Ice Coffee's been chasing for? <laughs> that why he wanted mod ship so bad. <laughs> oh shit! You, you... you moron! All right. Oh. Uh, Oh my god, I was slow, so slow to react there. So slow to react. Mm. Oh bullshit! That's complete bullshit. I definitely had to drop on that guy. There's no way you can say that bullshit. Salt, 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 salt. A big issue here. No way he could be missing the bullet. He's running directly into my line of fire. He takes no damage. Stupid shit. Man. Come on, it's such bullshit. They will not give me a kill. They refuse to give me a sledgehammer kill. Okay, there's nothing I can do about it. He didn't show up on my screen until it was too late. I was gonna hit by a cruise missile, I knew it. I tried to get away, there was no way. What? Yo, I just spawned! I spawned in the line of fire of the enemy! Yo, Treyarch, what the fuck is your problem, you fucking idiots? Spawning in the line of fucking fire. Yeah, he's an idiot. No one died! so many free kills there. That was three. There's a, out of those three, two of them should have been free. That should have been free as hell. He still fucked it up. Wow. He wants to complain about skill-based matchmaking. When in actuality, he's benefiting from it more than anything. I hit them all. No one died. Come on, yo. Treyarch, you suck. Your fucking servers are duty. You're fucking idiots. Again! Alright, they gave me a kill there, at least. This is so stupid, I can't kill anyone. Again, the terrible servers. Fuck me. Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. This is one of the saltiest things... Every bullet hit! Every bullet! And no death! That was in the face! You saw it! It was in the eye! It was eye level! The game didn't give me a headshot! Yeah, this is stupid. Treyarch fucking sucks, dude. They gotta fix their starting servers! Of course, it's open fucking weekend. Oh yeah. Like, your servers weren't good before, and now they're worse. I don't care. He rage quit! He rage quit! Oh my god, he rage quit! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> it doesn't count. I'm not counting that. The badge is laggy as fuck. I'm not counting that for a wager. I'm not. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair to people trying to wager their channel points when the match is so fucking laggy and bad. I can't legit kill anyone. I'm spawning with people shooting me in the face. Fuck Treyarch. That's not gonna, I'm not gonna penalize my fucking viewers. So I will, I will cancel that bet and we'll do it again. We will cancel that bet and do it again. That is garbage gameplay and a, a laggy ass fucking match because it's free to play weekend and they fuck everyone over who paid the, for the fucking game. 
The taste on your lips, so I want it all. A toxic dump slipping under. You know that you're toxic. Ah. Taste on your lips is paradise. But I know that you're toxic. Unleash the beast. Toxic. Ow. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I got one girl on got me! Damn. Uh, a sweet release, right? <laughs> Would I possibly get like a, an, out, an outburst of gout again? I could actually. If I stopped drinking the cherry juice that I drink every day for dinner, yeah, I probably could have a big bad outbreak. Alright, expand Dawn, what's going on? Good evening. How much to show you my nuts? That is absolutely disgusting. Uh, my nuts are, are my own and are only to show to my wife, so the answer is no, you cannot see my nuts for any price. My nuts are not for sale, okay? There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has... Indoctrinated children who send him money, blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And there she blows. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, give me a second to uh, straighten up. We will reconvene for the rundown and I will let you guys go on with your day. And I should see you guys, uh, like I said, there should be another video wednesday or friday and i will see you guys in a uh, like i said in like 12 days something like that unless something comes up um and then we'll see but uh that's pretty much how we're looking all right so give me just a second and i'll see you guys in uh just a second womp womp Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the breakdown. And uh, let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's go ahead and finish all this off. And uh, that will be that. All right. So uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Snow Brunel. Very much appreciate all this. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> all right. Stupid think that I'm a cult leader. Yeah, you kind of are. Like I said, that, that's been that's beyond been being proved. So I don't even know why that's even up for contention. So that is what that is. Whales and trolls. Whales achieve another vesicle for whatever that's worth. It's going back into a black hole, so it doesn't mean anything about anything. Making fun of wings, wings and LTG. The chili thing is whatever. Uh, calling LTG sexy. Mm, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you find another man attractive or whatnot, so be it. For Phil, it sounded like there's a little bit more behind that, but whatever. It's, uh, to each their own and whatnot. Maybe Catherine's a fan. So, you know what I'm saying? There's, you know, it is what it is. You got Tyrone, you got Jim, you know, maybe she, uh, maybe everything's done in threes. I don't know. Anyway, uh, no self-awareness at all. <laughs> Do we even need to comment on that? Uh, let's see. Uh, can't DM, can't DMCA uh, the Kiwi Farms? Yet again, why are you so desperate to try to take people's freedom of speech away at the end of the day? But the fact that he basically implied that everybody who goes to Kiwi Farms are mentally ill is... That should have been the real takeaway. Whales achieve another double vest goal. Doesn't mean anything. Destroyed in Call of Duty. Or, sorry, destroyed in Street Fighter. Yeah. 
uh, Black Hole Brunel yet again. A- another situation where he's never going to get better. At the end of the day, it's always going to be, there's always going to be a crisis. There's always going to be an issue. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about crowdfunding. You know what I'm saying? Complete and totally. So he's never going to break his dependence of these people. It is what it is. A flirting slip that comes from him saying that I need to pay my bills or actually I need to buy or I need I need to buy points to play such and such game or WWE champions, whatever it was going to be. More likely WWE champions. So yet again, just more confirm it's where his tips are going to go. Here's the reality about that, ladies and gentlemen, as it pertains to WWE champions. Sooner than later, we're going to find out. And even if we do find out, it probably is not going to mean anything in the grand scheme. His pay picks are all cucks. They're going to go along with it regardless. A few of them may smarten up. They may not. It is what it is. As it pertains to the bankruptcy, he already got away with it. I double. I mean, it's not like he was on trial for anything, so there is no double jeopardy, but it is what it is. He's gone. He's gone. It wouldn't. But that would further reinforce MidFirst Bank, and they could theoretically use that, but that's me just talking. I have no clue. Uh, Salty Bozo crying and complaining about Cod. Oh, he's, he's bad. <laughs> he's just bad at it. Uh, showing off his belly. I'm sure that's for only iced coffee or Golden Colts or whoever else that's into that shit. And my nuts are not for sale. Theoretically, his nuts have been for sale. To be honest, he's been cutting himself at the he's been cutting himself off off at the nuts for years. To be honest, the man doesn't have any pride or dignity or anything like that. It, it is what it is. Um, it would be. A bit more funny if it wasn't actually true. He he doesn't have anything. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this is it. Like this is the same idiot who I think in the last broadcast said that he would spray himself in the face for a hundred bucks. He can go ahead and try to justify it as this stupid little thing and it doesn't mean anything, but you're going ahead and rendering yourself down to these same bullshit kitty tactics that used to accuse other more popular and well to do people for. Most of those people have moved on from that type of content anyway but look at you you're now resorted to doing those very same things so who has actually devolved in the entire situation itself it's rather sad to be honest i'm still gonna laugh at it but it's still rather sad ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for listening in i very much appreciate it i'll see you guys for the next one (laughs) whatever that may be (laughs) hopefully sooner than later ladies and gentlemen this is the storm report this is dsp news always late never breaking unreliable coverage that you can't count on oh yes a gtg network of productions for the snort report as well as snortbox coffee company i've been your host slash anchor gtg and i'm signing off i'll see you guys on the flip <laughs> in the broadcast oh man oh man